take this opportunity to explain I don't know any dwarf named Morn. Explain the gods. Welcome to Dog Pound D and D, where we try and explain the gods. But we're gonna say, but I'll I'll cover the ones that aren't represented here. But Rex, who do you who do you follow? Rex views uh, gnomes as gods because the gnomes are what created okay, so him. You don't get any bonuses then. Nope. Okay, so oh, there's that option. Plus Voltaire. one to charisma skills it with gnomes. <laughs> Voltaire, oh, you... do you follow? <laughs> Uh, well, I mean, if one person was alive, then I could say Morden, but Voltaire doesn't follow anyone. He doesn't well, like a bunch them. of agnostics. Icarath. Icarath does have a god. <laughs> he doesn't know that, though. He just thinks it's a really nice friend. Uh, he follows Flit, the god of whimsy. And chaos. And parties. And parties, yeah. This explains so much. Icarath, explain Morden. <laughs> I... Can, can Thalrock explain Moradin, or is Thalrock not very devout? No, Thalrock is very devout. Then, then who, tell us about Moradin. Why should Lognar pick Moradin? This is like speed god dating for gods. He's things. He's the god of making things right and actually useful. To make things sturdy and worthwhile using, not just a one and done thing. He's also it's, one of stability, as with his weapons, everything should be stable. He's Whether the opposite be... of Flit. Yeah. Yes, basically. And then Rosalind, do you even have a god yet, or did you? I try... th no, I had I I had a god, and then I think I was gonna do strongly, but that came out after I created my boy, so I don't I don't actually you know. You rededicate yourself whenever you want. I right, you know what we're we're gonna do stromboli. Yeah, just make sure you do your things with your your bonuses if any are applicable. Strombly yep. is the Not god of balance. Baru is the big head god person. He kind of fucks everything, and then other gods are born. Like, he fucked a mountain, and so Morden was born. He fucked a tree. Shayla, the god so of the he's... was born. It's, so it's, it's very Greek. It's a very Greek pantheon. This is all then in Then along lore. came Zeus. Um, Grot is the god of basically all of the, like, the goblins, the orcs, the ogres, all them. Um... Barteo is the god of death, but like in a good way. It's like if Hades from the movie Hercules wasn't an asshole, kind of that. I'm doing a great job of explaining this, aren't I? <laughs> <laughs> so you mean just like actual Hades instead of Lathandra's the god Hades. of light. Is he still voiced by Dave Donald? Riotus is the god of dragons. Like Strombly is the god of balance. Momoa is the god of the sea. Saren is of Dragonborn. Shayla is the god of the elves. Orpho is orcs. Gabo is goblins. And Baravar is gnomes. And basically, the farther down you get the list, the less good your bonuses are. Okay. Because there's tiers in the different gods. And I don't know what I... class you are. What are you? Uh, I'm a lizard folk. Barbarian. A barbarian. Barbarian. I... Path of the totem. Yeah. Ooh, ooh. Do you have breath she attacks? Here. Do you have breath attacks? Uh, what is it about? No, it is it no, it's a not. bite. No, it's a bite. Yeah. You don't. No, I mean as a dragonborn. No, yeah, the dragonborn you do, but yeah, they're okay. lizard folk. Oh, you're not a dragonborn. You're a lizard. Yeah, folk. lizard folk are reptiles. Okay. Uh, lizard folk are like in Skyrim terms, they're Argonians. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Because they get the Orpho, water breathing, don't they? Orpho wouldn't they be get a swim first. speed. Yeah, they get a swim speed, and I think they can hold their breath for 20 minutes, maybe? Yeah, they have a really long hold their breath time, too. You yeah, longer than any of the other of <laughs> I don't remember what your character is, Feel what your character's like, though. Who? Why don't you introduce your Who? character real quick? Alright, um, so my character <laughs> is uh, Lognar. Um, he's from a village called Nortagat. Uh, in the continent of Wildlands. So he made an amazing... And uh, he has battled some bugbears. Uh, so in his way of uh, battling bugbears, he ended up in the Underdark. He got lost in the Underdark. Um, so yeah, that's uh, about the the jits of uh, Lognar. Oh, absolutely. You could definitely follow the God of War. You like to kill shit. <laughs> 
Let's do it. Let's so, do it. So you have chosen, and I think other people do have as well. Let me get back. Yeah. Jesus Christ. Like, I think Silas followed Brock for a time. I know Kraylin did. Didn't Rosalind for a time? At least while we were in Safe Falls, because I remember he painted Brock's symbol on his face. So you yeah, get plus uh, one to your strength plus stat, plus one to your tactical insight when it comes to war-related topics. That's just... At, at, at your discretion, if you think that's applicable, try and pull that card. And if I think it's applicable, then, hey, you're going to get a bonus. And then you also All get right. minus one to your intelligence, though. Okay. How do you add that to, like, the character sheets? You just um, increase it by one, I think. Yeah. Do you just, oh, I thought you just I didn't realize write you it down do as, like, a trait. Yeah, you and can then individually pop it in the chat it. whenever Meta's like, what the fuck are you talking oh, about? Oh, yeah, for that one, for, yeah, that one, just mark it down somewhere. Yeah. So, and then just try and pull it. There's a lot of stuff in this campaign that just kind of comes up, like the luck oh. that you've got one of those, right? Uh, yeah, you're you rolled it. I don't think I gave it to you. Hold on. So we've got a luck stat, so that's great. But welcome to Dog Pond D&D, where everybody's caught in this creepy, creepy place. Nobody knows where they're going. I don't think, especially since it was a week ago that you guys were last traveling, and nobody probably, like, mapped anything out. Do you have any clue where in the fuck you are in this maze anymore? I know we came in from that direction. I know that I'm not in the maze, because I'm not with the party. <laughs> I have a question. Uh, yes. My screen on roll 20 is black. Okay, yeah, so um, so I I I'm zooming all the way out, and then there should be a bit that's And then look uh, for the revealed. part that's lit okay. up. This is a really big map. Yeah. Alright. Okay, so I can see, like, two sides of the maze. Yes, yeah, so you want to go for, like, the bottom left most okay. one. So, roll perception, good. everybody that is not Rosalind or Lognar. My favorite stat to roll. Perception. And I'll do the, the recap real quick. Basically, they blew up a boat. Elra died. They got blown into the center of the, the, the ancient ruins of awfulness. They eventually, Pretty mild name, honestly, so far. They eventually... They eventually found each other, except for... Um, Roslyn, who was ki passed out and kidnapped on the beach. Oof. I took a big like, snooze. <laughs> there were bats, creatures, there were evil wolves, there were flutter things with acid and treasure chests and rods that we do not speak of. I... And you hear moaning coming from around the bend over there. Well, not moaning, what snoring. Kind of... snoring. Does that have I was going to say, what kind of moaning? <laughs> snoring. Snoring is a better word. So, okay, I thought that they had to do with the rods, and I'm like, did you guys... What part of we don't speak of the rods did you not understand when he <laughs> yeah. said it? I... God damn! <laughs> Look, I'm sorry, but... One more. You're about to be if you keep it up. <laughs> right, I'm about to be what? <laughs> Look, we we not wanted a lot trying to figure out what the fucking rod was for. Okay, so we just don't talk about it. Yeah. Okay, as long as yeah. it's not for sounding, that's good. That's where your brain went, really? I'm. So, you, there was sound. There were rods, and then there was moaning, and that's literally where it went because this is. Rosalind, I want to keep going on that track because this is you. Yeah. <laughs> Guys, I found a shovel and I dug a big hole. You're in the bottom of it. But yeah, it's but a it's good a... hole, but you're at the bottom of it. Exactly. I'm going to dig it deeper. Dude. <laughs> so, continue. so the, the snoring is heard by especially not Elred. Because El, El, well, you know, Elrid's rolling luck. Elrid, get in, get out of GM mode. Oh, I was just putting it in, uh, uh fixing I Wagner's luck a, stat. I don't think it'd be a plus fifteen. I think it's if you roll a fifteen, <laughs> wouldn't that be a plus two? 
<laughs> Plus 15 seems really Yeah, I think that was done incorrectly. I think you put the, the 15 in the bonus instead of in the stat column. Or I don't even know how that's been made. I, I don't know. I honestly don't know world. I just oh, have a that's what it is. Yeah. Anyways, so we hear the snoring coming from around the bend. Especially Alrak definitely does. What do you do? Well, is did we are we are we done long resting in tiny hut drops? Yeah. I thought if well, I figured if we were still in tiny hut before we left, uh, thought I could do hero's feast if everyone would prefer it. Ooh, is that expensive though? I have the money for it, but let's, my god, is it good? Let's let's fucking do it then. All right, if money is not spend, an object, then yes, please. We spent an extra hour. Uh, eating a meal. So oh, now one snores in the distance. So now everyone roll two d ten and add that as temporary hit points for the day. Hell yeah. Wow. <laughs> if I get the shit roll. You were too bit you did the you did the classic <laughs> shit thing where you were too busy making sure everybody else eats to like right. eat it while it's fucking hot and fresh and so you got right. like you got the bottom part that was like starting to cake to the bottom of the pan so, and the rest of us are like that was so good. You ate some, right? And you're just yeah yeah I ate some, don't worry about it. And then you finally get to eat it and you're just like fuck. One of All these right. days I'll learn my lesson and I'll actually fucking eat shit. Alright, and just so everyone is aware of it, as additional notes besides on top of that you are cured all diseases and poison. You are now immune to poison and to being frightened. Wait, did you tell Ikrath that before the feast? Oh did no, I told him after. Okay, because if you told him before or during, he definitely would have been popping fucking drugs. Because oh, no, he just after. cured of it right away. <laughs> However, no, it, the, the, the thing on Voltaire's chest is not affected by that. That's yeah, fine. Wasn't well, it like a curse or something like that? It, yeah. yeah. It's a curse yeah. disease. And all wisdom saving throws are made with advantage. And how long does this last? 24 hours. Basically Ooh. a full day, and then I can just redo it all again. Cool. Being Damn. immune to poison. Or was it poison damage or poisoned? Or you are immune to poison. Like, entirely immune. Fucking A. So, well, in this case, as soon as we drop Tiny Hut, if Valrak's like, somebody's snoring around the corner, Ikrath would be like, well, it's fucking go say hi! <laughs> well, which, which corner is it? He didn't he didn't stop to check which corner it is. He just assumed it was this corner. <laughs> yeah, we're just going to go that way. Hello. And you come Who's across Roslyn, down here? passed out. <laughs> Guys, it's Roz. Roz, he's, he's so small right now. Look at him. Oh, oh, oh that sweet darling little boy. Wakey, wakey. And Ikrath like fucking kicks him in the head lightly, <laughs> thinking that that's an acceptable thing to do. Oh, Rex is <laughs> <laughs> Oh. And then um, he, he he looks at like he can even tell Rex the Warforged with no fucking facial features is like, dude, you don't kick people in the head when they're sleeping, and he's just like, what? He's a he's a Goliath. He's big. He can. Rex take is it. gonna be like, it wasn't me this time. <laughs> <laughs> but, wait, hold on. Is Ikrath quote unquote sober right now? Yeah, you just cured him of everything that was wrong with him. That's the guy that you... Including any, like, wasting diseases he's gotten from doing so many drugs. Wait. Oh, my God. Sober Icarus? Yeah. Yeah, that's what I'm laughing at. It's like, this Icarus is sober right now. Icarus is... He's got a full belly. He feels empowered. And he he just found an old friend. I say old friend like I didn't see him, like, nine hours ago. Yeah. Or have him help me get us into this situation. But, you know... Uh, actually, let me fix my health then, because I don't think that I set it back to full. Uh, yeah, technically, I think we just long rested, so somehow nothing yes. ate you. Yeah. Which is yeah. Good. <laughs> just, 
I am a fat <laughs> no. chunk of meat, bro, okay? It's very hard to eat me. Maybe something tried to eat him, but then spat him out. Yeah, it's like a snake, and then I was just too big. <laughs> you there, was up you to up? after eating a... And Lognar. Acne. Check your DM. Oh, it was Ryan, the one eating me? <laughs> no, I was just kidding. I don't think lizard folk do that in 5e, right? Mm, do what? They do. I like eat, eat humanoid creatures. Because I, I know in older do. editions, lizard folk. Wait, what? I'm pretty sure that they still do. Oh. It's yeah, it, and it, as as a race, they do. As a player character, it's entirely dealer's choice. And yeah, like, no, that's fun. You know, and people yeah. who will play things like Leonin, who would be like, I would totally eat a humanoid, and I'm just like, wow, okay. I mean, that's valid. Mine is friendly. Mine is friendly. He's encountered some humanoids, so yeah. he's uh, he's grateful for them. Plus, meat Not always humanoid. tastes better when it's friends with you first. Yes. Exactly. It's less, less stress hormones in the in the body, you know. And nobody, nobody with land before time. Okay. I'm sorry. I. I'm Gen Z, bro. I have seen no, that, that movie. No, that movie just makes me really sad when I remember that the mother dies. Okay, so, Lognar, did you check your DM? Are you good with that entry? Um, one second. Yes. And if you are, then everyone's gonna have to close their eyes for you so you can see the thing that you were fighting, because it is a thing. Alright, that's good. Alright, so everybody close your eyes except for Lognar. Lognar, look a little bit down and right from where everyone is. I just minimized. Yeah, I have it. Yeah, I just have a different That'll work time. too. You got that? You got that? What that thing looks like? And what it's on? Yeah. It's on PCP. Yeah, so you know about that thing. That thing is what, what got you and left you. Okay. Alright. Everybody else, you can bring it back up. You're good. And you hear some, like, hitting something, like, rolling back and forth and hitting the walls. Did Roz wake there. up? Oh, no. Uh, Rosalind's not woken up yet. <laughs> Nobody's here. Oh, I can with this. Oh, if I'm still asleep, bro. <laughs> <clears throat> Rosalind, listen, boy. Wait a up. minute. Nobody touch him. Is he a duck? God damn it! <laughs> I, I will say I I will that that's not I'm the done. He, he is not a dog. We have, bro. He is not a dog, but there is a dog within sixty feet. Is there a dog within sixty feet? Is there a dog within sixty feet? Yeah. Is it's not Roswell? <laughs> Okay. He might be a duck. It's in that direction, you, but Rex is gonna look at everyone and say, "Shall we stealth for ducks?" No, you fucking you fucking shoot ducks. Um. Yes. Should we break up, Rosalind? I have ways. One way I woke up, my younger brother was I like, just lift him up out of his bed when he was sleeping in and he had to go to school, and I just throw him out the window. And usually he'd land in like the grass or sometimes the lake, even if I was feeling really good that day. And he'd just wake up and he'd yell at me and I'd be like, You're younger than me, idiot. And then I'd kick him. You throw him through the wall. You know, you tell such fucking good stories. I love it when you fucking tell stories. So, what do we want to do to rustle him? Well, I've got several ideas. I just don't think any of you guys would like them. <laughs> I Rex say gonna, that with complete honesty. <laughs> Rex is gonna bend down and like shake him. Wake up! Wait, no, before you do that, I just realized I can identify people. Okay. So if he's being affected by a spell right now, I know whether or not he's uh, 
being affected to so if he's a duck with a spell on him to look like he's Rosalind, I'll magical, know. No, but he is. Oh no, no, he's Rosalind. It's literally just the last sentence of identify that says if you touch a creature instead. Yeah. Oh, and yeah, and it's under <laughs> magical sleep. Oh, oh he's mag under magical sleep. Yeah. Um. Well, so again, I have several ideas about this. I don't think anyone else is gonna like it. Is that a yes? Is that a yeah, we do in your I'm okay with this. I'm okay with this. It's not a no. Rex hasn't been in the party it's, for very is, long, but he's smart me. enough to move away. <laughs> <laughs> this is more, I want to see where this goes. Oh. And Rex, well, when you see around the corner, somebody hitting the walls bound in spider silk. Much smaller than that. <laughs> and uh, Ikarath, well, well, while that's going on, Ikarath is going to pop a sandpaper mushroom in Rosalind's mouth, which immediately makes everything feel like sandpapers for those who ingest it. Why? I don't know if it'll wake him up, but again, I said I have several ideas and I just want to work my way through them. <laughs> Rosalind, roll a constitution saving throw? Oh, this is something that I'm actually good at. I have a plus eight, boy. Oh, you have got to oh, So you do wake up, but everything touching you, your your clothes, your armaments, the ground, the gusts of wind, everything feels like sandpaper. Gusts of wind feel like sand blasting past you in the desert. It is <laughs> extremely uncomfortable. However, you are very much conscious oh he, he he does wake up oh yeah but he's not having a good day okay immediately ikraf is like oh fuck and he sticks a magenta one in there does is rosalind got enough fucking wherewithal to not fucking take the magenta one well What's... rosalind what are you he's, he's, what? he's shoving what a mushroom does the magenta towards one do because i'm in great pain uh, it, it makes the pain go. It, it rather, like says, "This will make it go away. Don't worry, mate." And he sticks it in your mouth. Do you take it? Yeah. What That's that what a magenta do? mushroom does. <laughs> you can't feel pain, and specifically, everything feels great. So now it feels like sandpaper, but it feels roll a constitution it's like save. Real nice that it feels no. like sandpaper. Hey, Chris, you're gonna you have to him roll into a fucking oh, dark elder. So for that to overcome it, you need to roll lower than your constitution save before. So that means I need a two or a one. Oh, Ikraf could just give you another one of those. Oh! Yes! Oh! 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 No! The best time in the world to get a fucking nat one. <laughs> Holy shit. Ross, I... we're... Ikraf is you, just, you, you take it and it immediately takes effect. And Ikraf is just like, Ross. You might be the best at drugs I've ever seen. <laughs> and we'll pan Dude. real quickly to Rex and the bound Lognar. Rex is gonna like bend down and cut Lognar loose. Yes. And uh, Log <laughs> has Lognar uh. Has Rex ever seen a lizard person before? No, I don't think so. I mean, maybe in <laughs> passing, yeah. He's seen yeah, lizards yeah. and he's seen people and he lives in a world where there's other things like that. I'll bet he can figure it out. Like, I well, mean, yeah, you've probably come across, like, they're not, like, uncommon. They're not common. Like, you probably would have seen I mean, are they too. common in the Underdark? They're more common in the surface. Um, okay. Uh, Rex is just gonna, like, put out a hand and be like, do you need help? <laughs> They're a wild than people. So Rex says, do you need help, Lognar? Yes. Uh, are you gonna take his hand? How do I do that? Just say e e what you're doing. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, yes. I will uh, take your hand. And he's gonna... Yank you up onto your feet. Thank you, Rex. How do you know my name? Is she 
wizard? You're a wizard, Harry. You're a wizard, Harry. <laughs> Black twist. Rex has it written on his chest as like a model number. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Rex, Ragnar, roll luck because watch this. Ragnar, roll luck. It's a stat and where your weapons are. Okay, I just imagine Rex walking around with like a little name tag that says, Hi, my name is Rex. We're gonna find oh out God. with He's this He's wearing the Best here. Buy employee's outfit underneath his adventuring gear. <laughs> <laughs> That's the one thing poking out. No, he's wearing specifically Geek Squad. Yes! <laughs> so in the character What's... sheet... Yeah. Do you see where your hit points are? Yes. In the center top. Go down a couple, and you'll see like Great Axe, Dagger, Javelin. Yeah. Do you see luck? Mouse yes. over it until it turns red and then click on it. Okay. And Lognar's first roll of the game is a luck roll. How do you guys feel about that? I don't think that's a good sign. <laughs> I think it depends on how the roll goes. Oh, no! <laughs> see, yeah. <laughs> The dice hate us today. So basically what happened is you just chose that name because you just, you've been through some traumatic shit. You just finished your quest of, like, destiny of killing all the bugbears. And you are so out of it, and that's just the name you chose at random. And there's just no and explaining it, it. There's no explaining it. It, it ended, ended up, up being, being the him. right name. <laughs> all and right, all right, let's do this. it. <laughs> oh, all and you guys can uh, see this. Well, is it going to cast we... ducks? <laughs> Ikrath already did. He discovered he, he, that Lognar can uh, read uh, names. <laughs> uh, I guess that's handy. <laughs> what got you all tied up in spider silk? I got caught by an evil Spider Man. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, sorry, Toby. So, so I, heard, I heard evil Spider Man, and my mind just went to Jonah Jameson yelling in the distance. Okay, but yeah. Spider Man! Spider. Wait, no, a mixture of Cave Johnson and James Jonah Jameson. It's like, Spider Man is looking to burn your house down. Did you oh, see where the spider person ran? One question. Am I supposed to say this? Say which? The thing I sent you? Yeah. Do you know it? Your, it's your, you and your character's decision if you want to say anything about it. Okay. All right. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. So basically anything that you know is what in this game is what you know. And any choice you want to do, just... Just say what you want to do, okay. or talk to who you want to talk to, or in a crass case, slap who you need to slap. I mean, come on, guys, we all know. Or be okay. slapped okay. by whoever needs to slap you. That's true. Okay. A lot of people get slapped well, in this campaign. Actually, Rex. the king of slapping was Kralin, but he's dead. Considering uh, Rex has uh, given a helping hand, I will uh, let him know where this uh, evil spider person is. So I saw him in the bottom right corner. Uh, so if you like press and hold click, it'll mm -hmm. ping. I think I can do this, okay. right? Can you see this, guys? Yes. Yeah, yeah, like that. That's what you guys, that's what she knows. Okay. So it's right on the other side of this wall? Yeah, in theory. Yeah. <laughs> <Long term. laughs> oh no. Rex is like, I'm getting the fuck out. I am. <laughs> Wait, Rex, you don't know about Icarus? Icarus yeah, uh... he was on his um, gorilla raven thing and all his shenanigans. I mean, last I guess session, it's though. Cool. It's been yeah. eight hours since last session because we all took a nap. <laughs> he took a little nappy nap. What it's do we okay. do? Okay, hold um, hold on. Before we get too separated, I want to test to make sure all these new people, and he looks suspiciously at Rex, for whatever reason, are on the level. Everybody come here, put your hands in the middle, and on three, we say, I'm not a duck! Got it? What? Why? 
I we stopped trust, questioning a while ago. Trust this. Trust me on this. If there are ducks, we're all gonna What's the know. Range on this thing? Wait, in a second, if any of them are ducks, they're gonna you're gonna hear them quacking in your mind in just a moment, okay? Everybody in? And as soon as everybody's touching hands, he goes, one, two, three, I'm not a duck. No duck. No, I'm not a duck. Not a duck. We are now telepathically bonded, so if anyone in here is a duck and your thoughts are quack, that quacks, we'll know. Quack. None of them are ducks. <laughs> However, I was wrong, Icarus. There were two ducks within 100 feet. Or feet. Oh, God, there's two ducks, and we came across two people there immediately one, there was one, the fucking tiny There was one this way and one this way. You know what my favorite part about that cantrip is? You What's never that? told me whether or not it's actual ducks or what Ikrat thinks is ducks. So no. there could be vampires or ducks or witches <laughs> or vampiric duck witches. I don't know. Or Dora. <laughs> Dora. Let's go. I mean, look, we have famously bad cantrips in this campaign, okay? Hey. Yeah, uh, we've also got was... some good ones, though. True Strike was valuable. Bru yeah, the fact that True Strike was valuable, instantly, like, oof. So what do we do? We know about this evil thing. We've got two, we got the new people. We want to talk to each Icarus, other. Icarus bringing Kokensha out. A bird. Not Rigetti, though. I say we go kill a spider before it gets us. We could always knock a wall down. Uh, how would that help? Well, because, see, when walls are not knocked down, they stand between you and your goals, and if you knock them down, then they're, like, flat, and you can just walk across the top. Okay. It's pretty nice. Voltia gets it. I do. Interesting. Okay. Well, I... I'm not opposed to this plan, then. Great! Let's go find some ducks. Wait, are we knocking the wall down first or finding... I'm confused. Somebody said there's a Spider-Man. Spider-Man? Spider... <laughs> it's hunting us. Well, I think it's been doing that for a while. Oh, yeah. By the way, where's the old man? I've been out of it lately. What happened? What happened to the old the... guy? About... You, you mean Mac? Yeah. That's that's his name, yes. Yeah, what happened to Magni? I don't see him. <laughs> no, no. This is where Thawar's gonna do the sending. He's gonna try to send. Oh no, someone's getting slapped. <laughs> I think you're muted, Corey. Well, shit. <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> So yeah, roll roll your spellcasting step. Sorry. Like as an attack it's gonna be the same as my wisdom save, so Yeah, whatever whatever is equivalent. More. It fails, you know that he's dead, you don't get to talk to him. Ah uh, oh, uh, uh, uh. What's that, mate? What's, what's, what's wrong? He's he's dead, too. Wow. Wow. Then Thara just turns and punches the wall. Straight up just punches the wall. Roll unarmed damage. That 20s knocks the wall down, Nick Rath. is just like, see, that's what I was talking about. It's a lot easier this way, isn't it? You know what? Honestly, yeah. Roll, roll, roll a unarmed attack and then roll damage. All right. So I assume Thalrak is not holding back here. Oh no, he's absolutely Okay, good. and then roll damage. Which would be, what, 1d2? I think it's 1 plus strength for an army Oh uh, yeah, yeah unless, you're prof unless you're a monk, so yeah, that would be 3 damage. So you take 3 damage as you feel just tiny little fractures in your, in your hand. And a little bit of the rock comes out of the wall, but not much. You don't punch through it. It's very painful. You take three damage. Oh, it took out half my temporary hit points. Good. <laughs> at least you have temporary hit points. Yeah, at least I have temporary hit points for this. Here, Thalrak, let me show you how it's done. No, no, no. 
Don't, don't do, don't do mine. Let's not have a dick measuring contest right here. No, 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 no. This, this wall punches back if you punch it. Don't. I wasn't going to punch it. And it is a wall. I do not see how it can punch it, back. It will, it will absolutely hurt you. And he shows like the bloody knuckle. Yes, that's because you punch it poorly. I'm not going to punch it. I'm going to take my maul out and I'm going to whack it. Yes, if you want your maul broken, by all means do. I have I'm broken gonna... many walls with my maul before. I you have a maul. <laughs> I'm not, I'm not you have a mole, can the mole just dig through the, the wall for us? No, it's like a mole, like that it's, it's a hammer from that star... I mean, No, it's a hammer! Oh, a ha There was never yeah. any mole, was there? Yeah, I, I'm not fucking with I'm me. Not, look, if it breaks, I'm not repairing it, I'm just saying now. I'm warning I've you not to do many moles. I've broken many walls with this mole before. Remember the Hydra? I, this is the same place. place. Hurry up, I and he sheathes his small put it back on his little mall holder. He has a specialized mall holder? That's dope. Like, like, you know the thing in like God of War 4 that Kratos puts the Leviathan Echo? Oh, okay, so that, it's just that book for a mall. Yeah. Um, Meta, Icarath would like to cast Alarm on this U-turn right here, so if anybody fucking follows us, we'll know. And which you turn this one? This one over here. The one, yeah, the one that I'm standing next to. Yeah, you can. That do just that. got triple pinged. Cool. So it takes him a minute while everybody's talking about moles. Well, Icarat thinks you're talking about moles. And then as soon as he's done, he's just gonna fucking start going along. Be like, come on, everybody, then. Man, now I want some guacamole. <laughs> Getting that last one in before we leave the sea. Yeah, let's keep moving. I am not a fan of what. Also, as Ikrath <laughs> moves past Lognar, he kind of squints at him, not like suspiciously, just like he's trying to figure it out. He's like, I can't tell if you're a really big kobold or if you're a really sick dragonborn. And he just keeps on going. <laughs> I... Oh, hey, guys, look, you'll never guess what's up here. More fucking passageways. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> As you guys continue to go around the corners, uh, roll perception, Icarath and Rex, and the bird, I suppose. Yeah, I, that is literally the reason why I have the fucking bird out. Because <laughs> he's got a perception of plus three. I have a minus three. If yeah, it was not the... supposed to be an advantage. Why is it rolling an advantage? Um, the the Raven, it's that's Kukancha, my my little dude. So he got a twenty. Oh yeah, I definitely hear some skittering and the sound of metal clinking. <gasps> Steven. <laughs> oh, Rex, um, know anything? Rex, what did you roll? No, you didn't. Eleven. Care. No. Uh, he'll he'll hold up a hand. He'll be like, "What do you see? Cover me!" And he'll stand behind Rex, and then he'll he'll, he'll tell Rex not to move too much further up. And then he's just gonna send the bird, but he's gonna be looking through the bird's eyes. All right. And real quick, we'll see what Lognar is doing. So is it my? Do I roll right now? No, you just decide what you want to do. Okay. Right. Just Are you following the party? Whenever. I think yeah. I think Lognar is gonna follow the party. And you can just see, you can drag yourself around. Okay. All right. So the bird looks down the passageway and you see op an open expanse in front of you. And you mm -hmm. see a bunch of gold coins on some rocky outcropping that melts away into, from that perspective, just nothing. Okay, he'll have the bird, uh, and a little Go bit up. of a hand. How 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 high up can the bird fly? Like like can it can it go like thirty feet in the air? No, like eight. Okay, so it's pretty short in here. Yeah, yeah, it opens up out there. Okay, then he's gonna have it dash as fast as it can through here. Okay, you do 
Um, it takes a swipe. What's your armor class? On the bird, like negative seven. Oh. Um. Wait. One. What? It's twelve. It's twelve. Oh, I'm sorry. It does hit it, but as you hit it, you see. Well, Icarus sees everybody else. Close, everybody else, like, look away. Yeah, I'd at least see whatever the bird sees until it gets here, because I can see its fucking yeah. little dirty knife right there. So everybody, so whatever it is, Lognar, uh, because Lognar's already seen this. But everybody else, you need to look away or minimize or something. Let me know when you're good. Minimized. All good. And I'll reveal the bigness here, and then I will hide the bigness. Yeah. The okay. Dead. And then no more bird. Yeah, bird, bird dead. And you bird, guys bird can dead. all look back. Okay, so good news and bad news. The good news is treasure. The bad news is spider person? Foul rack, everybody get up here. Quick, I got an idea. I guess I'll follow everybody I'll else up to up towards where Icarath is. Who is apparently in charge of the adventure today. <laughs> it's because Foul rack's sad, okay? I'm sober. This is the only time this is going to happen, okay? <laughs> yeah, no, this is, no, no. it's weird. Nobody's like, warned Lognar that this is a poor, poor idea. The fact that we have sober Ikrath is a rare delicacy. Yes. Okay, so I've got two but ideas. Remember, Rosalind, you are thing. loopy AF. Yeah, no, the, Rosalind is not speaking. She's just, <laughs> you feel like Rocky. Uh, I feel like Rocky Balboa. Oh, yeah, you feel like you're at the top. Mm. Oh, like, I feel good. Steps, okay. That's what you feel like permanently right now. For the next few yeah. hours. I'm just gonna let out a yeah every couple of seconds. Okay, so two different things that we can do. One, we can all just charge out there together and beat the shit out of this, although I think it knows we're here because it fucking took out the bird pretty fucking quick. So, the other thing I can do is I can get rid of it probably for about a minute. And so what I can do is I can get rid of it for a minute, and then we can all scoop up all the gold, and we can just leave. <laughs> yeah. All right, that's one yes. Who wants to beat the shit out of it versus who wants to just get rid of it for a minute? One and a half of me says beat it to the underworld. The other half says get, uh, get rid of it. I'm I am up for getting rid of it if we don't have to fight it later. If we have to fight it later, cool, we'll just beat the shit out of it then, but avoiding the fight now seems a lot better. Yeah, yeah. fighting it now. Wait, Icarus, are you gonna catch banishment? <clears throat> why would you ever think maybe I was yeah, why? <laughs> no no no. I'm on board with this because if for some reason we have to do it again, I can cast one as well. Oh good, so you 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 back me up on this although this is going to be kind of tricky i've been working with time magic and out of character basically i just added some time spells i got them pre-approved through uh the board and whatnot but uh just a couple of small time spells that ikra has been working on that he's been you know working on but he invented and he's like all right so this is gonna take a little bit of time magic that wreck you follow right after me all right and then for the rest of you if you hear some screaming in a moment you if you hear just more me. swearing, then you know shit's gone bad. Although, also... Also, we need, like... Do we have a bag of holding or something that we can put all the fucking shit in? Oh, yeah, we'll get to you in a minute, Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> I do not have one. How does a party of fucking six ele play level 11 players not have a bag of holding between us? What's up? <laughs> the economy's in shambles. <laughs> okay, so I just need to be able to fucking see that thing. So here we go. Tommy, why me? Bullshit. I foretell a distraction. Wait, what's that? And he peeks around the corner. Um, you see a army of like, they would be spiders, but they're like, not. They're they're horrible things. I can't. I'm I'm trying like to like a little little bug a little bug. They're fucking they're army twisted. Coming at us. Like if you ever seen the movie, like the original movie, Lost in Space. You well, know those little well, those little twisted spider things that like came out and like ate ate people and then be merged with the the doctor guy. Oh no! Why that's, meta? 
It's real. It's real bad. They got. They got big teeth. Okay. Yeah. Uh... Nope. And this thing you said this thing was that small, so this definitely fucking gets all of them. Once it's <coughs> as Ikarath fucking does some fucking bullshit, which is what he's famous for. Why is it? God damn it! It's that thing that's happening. This is not a spell. This is an attack. You guys all know it. Tidal wave. He fucking fills this entire fucking thing with water and yeets it the fuck out of there. Yes, you do that. <laughs> you you have had things. You have had effects. The water whooshes out, and you hear clattering and clanging. Oh god damn it! I probably just fucking hit some of the gold. New plan: beat the shit out of that thing, and Nickrath's gonna sprint. Right. He's gonna. Uh, no. Rex is gonna follow. Wait, I don't have to do that. I was a smart person. Sorry. I All right, so he got after. Watch this. Hey, we... Wait, stop moving this for a second. Rolling Everybody... initiative. No, wait, one second. Everybody, go back. No. Sorry, I'm I'm fixing what's going on. So give me a second. Oh, so this is Icarus Leroy Jenkins moment right now. Yes, yes. Why I'm just... is it not his Leroy Jenkins moment, honestly? Tuesday. <laughs> Guess when we don't have a session, <laughs> motherfuckers. <laughs> okay, so now you can run around Tuesday. the corner. Now you can run around the corner. And you guys are, are free to kind of do what you are because we're in this... Weird I have fluid. a prepared spell I'm going to cast as soon as I fucking see the spider person. Okay. In, unless they're not standing on this shelf and I knock them into the water. Go ahead. No, okay, so he's going to cast Banishment at level 4 immediately upon seeing this bitch. Okay, what kind um, of a save is His spell save DC is 18, and it's a, a charisma saving throw. Charisma. This thing is not very charismatic. No, I kind of figured so when you kept playing <laughs> as its noises. Yeah, it just, what, what's, the, what's the what's the save? Eighteen. Yeah, no, it does not make that. It goes poop. So there's a faint popping noise, unless is if it's in it, yeah, and so if that's from another plane of existence, it goes back to wherever it came from. So if that was a fiend, it goes back to hell, and if it was Fey, it goes back to the Fey Wild. If it's from this plane of existence, then it just pops into it, uh, just kind of a, a, it's it's incapacitated, knocked out somewhere. Yep. It does one of those things. Oh, and then there, there's nobody else out here. And Icarus is like, oh, cool. Well, we can just get the gold, fellas, because for the next minute, I'm just going to fucking sit here. And you and have... Get More things. Yeah, so... So, uh, go ahead, grab your shit. Let's go. And Icarus is going to start filling his pockets with yep. coins. And so this thing Rex. swoops in. Thalrak, banish oh. him! Banish him! <laughs> and then Ikrath goes, oh wait, and he tosses a mushroom at it to see if this will work also. So are you, are you rolling luck? for initiative now before I do my thing? Because, Meta, you remember what happened last time you saw one of these, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, roll initiative. Alright. Where's my luck stat? There it is. Okay. That's not bad. Um, But it's not enough for that to accidentally fall in its mouth because it doesn't reach out to eat it. But Icarus roll perception. Oh my good stat. Who needs to roll perception? He said Icarus. Icarus. So. Uh, okay. Woo. Oh no! Did it not grab any? Oh no. No, nope, because you didn't have the thing up. Fuck. Wait, wait. Oh, there we go. It worked. There we go. Nice. nice. Okay, and let's roll this initiative. So, Blognar, uh, you should see initiative on your character sheet, okay. right by where it says your HP. What you have to do is you have to select your character, mm -hmm. and then press the initiative text. Yep. And then... And what was your perception? Your perception was not great. Everything... It was four! This just seems Woo! like any other monster. Well, except he, it, 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 that's the same one, uh, the same type as he saw yesterday, right? Or uh, 
last Sunday, right? Yes, it is the same type, but there was more that well, you Ick might have. obviously noticed. knows nothing else about it besides that, so. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, do we have everybody in? Let's see. It looks like Wagner is missing, but the initiative is kind of screwed up. It, instead of rolling at advantage, it's just rolling 2d20. I think that's how it works, because it's, uh, it might be, yeah, yeah, it's, yeah, if you hover over it, it shows the text, and the way it works is 1d20, keep highest one. Oh, yeah, yeah I see, yep. Oh, is okay. there, like, do you have, like, a special well. thing for initiative or something? That's yeah, what they are Yeah. Oh, so, yeah, cool, so that's how it works, you're an 18. And descending, cool, Icarath gets the first turn. Mmm. Icarath is concentrating right now. <laughs> he has so many bad ideas about <laughs> shit he can fucking do. Oh um, boy. Yeah, Thalric rolled shit on initiative. Did that thing roll shit on initiative? No, that thing rolled really no, good on initiative. No, yeah, 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 so that's did. not going to help. Um, <laughs> Icarus says, Good luck, everybody! Dips. <laughs> wow. Wow. <laughs> wow. wow. Holy shit, bro. <laughs> wow. <laughs> 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 Just boop! I'm out of here! Actually, you know what? I fucking forgot. Meta, uh, you can re-add him and resize him. I forgot to fucking delete him, but yeah. Also, but as he says that, he would run across the gold coins, scooping some up, and he would be over here when he disappears. So that way he's not, like, gonna be reappearing on combat. But he's like, get him! I'll be back in a minute! Okay, what was your initiative again? 27.2? Alright. I put you back in. <laughs> and it is, you can just if you drop me to the GM layer, then we can't see me anymore. And then on my turn, you can just pop me back. Yep. There we go. <laughs> also, also, Meta, I'm sorry. I need to. I forgot to put in my Investiture of Lightning spell stats. Uh, but I. I'll do that next turn. Uh, okay. Well, that. That's yeah. What, what are you doing, Super Raz? I'm high as shit, so... And you think that you can conquer the world. You could punch <laughs> out... You could punch out okay. Mike Tyson and Mike Tyson punch out. Okay. I'm going <laughs> to use my Investiture of Lightning spell because it did get approved, but I really don't like that I don't have the text put in here yet. I don't know what it does. Uh, you know the Investiture spells? Like, uh, you know... Uh, basically, movement of 15 foot blink, you have an aura of lightning, does 2d6 damage, you grow one category in size, and for an action, uh, if you grapple a creature, you can do, uh, 66 lightning damage. Alright. I remember, so, yeah, I remember you, you talking about that one. Yes. Okay. So, size me up, Captain, this bad so boy is gonna wrestle. How big? You do realize that it's still like floating over the void and shit like that, right? How so big are you, guy? Rosalind? I'm gonna like basketball palm this guy. Rosalind. Yeah? How big are you? Uh, oh, sh currently 46 feet tall. How tall is this thing? How tall is this cavern? One second. If you break this fucking shelf and we lose all the gold, that except looks about a little right. bit, Rex and You're 46 Icarus feet grab. tall? Huh? Most spells like that say, though, if you don't have enough room to grow that big, yeah. you just don't, though, so... That's fine if I don't, yeah. Yeah, you only I go have... to, like... Yeah, you, so you would only go to, like... 20 feet. Okay, then that's fine. And you uh, hear the rock start to... Or actually, no, yeah, sorry. You hear I'm... the rock start to... Crumble. Okay, uh, that's that's my action, and actually I'm gonna quicken spell that. Uh, I'll spend the sorcery points, and I want to use my action to. Does this thing have a neck? Uh, maybe there's a place where it might have a neck. <laughs> I'm gonna fucking like try to grab that and use the action. Strength to grapple it. 
Uh, yep. Strength is as is. Okay, roll strength. your strength. Yeah. Wait, is it strength? Raw strength or athletics? It's a strength check. Strength versus strength. Oh, okay. No. She you try oh, and grab it by the on. neck, and it just swats your oh, hand oh, your oh, hand oh, away oh, with oh, its oh, wing, oh. and it goes. <laughs> Aren't are, are you enlarged? Don't you have advantage on grapple fighters? Oh, yes, and I also count as one size larger. Well, so then there you go. I'm, so technically, I am a huge creature right then now. Then you gotta roll again. Making okay. noises for nothing. Yeah, I'm sorry. Like normally, I would have advantage on grapple checks anyway because I count. As a yep. Large nope. Creature. You still got fucked. <laughs> Damn you. Okay. And do you have anything else? You, there's nothing really else you can do. You yeah, can't go back no, through. This thing dive bombs and slams into the platform. And it cracks off. Rex, make a dexterity save at disadvantage. No. Oh. I, I'm so sorry, guys. I just wanted to grab this thing and keep it still. Should have fucking Does that pass? Bro. You managed to jump and grab onto the ledge. You are not up, but you're not falling in either. Yeah. I just gotta. Um... Should I grab? I'm the ledge resilient. <laughs> One. So I'm sorry. There's a lot of things to. That's okay. Bye bye, gold. I blame Ikrath. This is why do you blame Ikrath? I was trying yeah, to. This is this not, definitely not an Ikrath problem. <laughs> Although Ikrath is probably going <laughs> to have a problem. Get a few seconds and I'm like, hey, go! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, so in a minute when this thing falls in too after you. Oh wait a minute! Hold on, I'm literally an aspect of lightning. I probably don't weigh anything. No, uh, you'd still fall. No, okay, that's fine then. Yeah, and you I, definitely weigh something. You're a huge fucking creature. Yeah, unless you have a flight speed. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Yeah, no, I don't have a flight speed per se. I do have a blink speed. <laughs> it's fifteen feet. So Rosalind, bye. Oh shit! And this thing then swoops away. And uh... we're out of initiative. Um, so Icarus is just going to come back and fall in then. Correct. Because it's only gone for six seconds. Yep. If it's moving away, I, shouldn't I get an attack of opportunity? No, because you're you're grabbed on. Yeah, the you're ledge. you're hanging with two hands. Oh, oh I thought I made it a hundred percent. No, no. No, he said he said you're you're like you're Icarus grappled on pops. the there. As Thalrak, I assume Voltaire and Lognar would be approaching in six seconds. Oh yeah. Sorry, Are you grabbing sorry. Rex? Oh yeah, absolutely. Yeah, between right. Voltaire, Thalrak, and Lognar, are you assisting? Yeah. Rex is a beefy boy. <laughs> you guys all work together to pull this massive Warforge out of the off the freaking ledge, and then as you guys are pulling him up, you just see Ikarath pop up over there, and then disappear as he falls. Uh, Ikarath, what do you say as you as you Kansas do that? Oh, <laughs> goddamn! The one Wait. spell I've never thought to grab. If it's a ritual, can you do that? Yeah. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Mm -hmm. No rituals. Yeah. You don't have to cast. It's just you can cast the oh. as a ritual. Yeah, you could have prepared it. Yeah. And yeah, Icarus, basically... Icarus tested these spells out, and he knows shit like this can happen. He wasn't expecting the ground to be gone, but he does have a couple of spells that he's, like, ready to cast on himself um, when he comes what back if... from this kind of shit. But what if there's no ground? Uh, then, well, so it, 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 this basically, it works for levitation. So basically, I think uh, I would fall to wherever the ground is, and then I would stop above the ground. Okay, so then you fall with a tensor's floating disc through yeah, the I fog. Just don't hit, I, don't, I don't actually hit whatever is at the bottom. Yes, yeah, so you just see him falling through with the disc underneath him. What do you... <laughs> and then as he keeps falling, you hear, Get the gold! 
Bye. A true uh, D &D <laughs> adventure to the end. And then while you're pulling Rex up, the minute expires. One second, I gotta get back to here. And you see this thing pop up. And then you also see it fall, screeching. <laughs> and it, it falls nope. through as well. No, that thing's still gone. No, I said it took about a minute. You said they were gone for a minute. Yeah, but if if if, if I if I concentrate on it the whole time, then it stays gone. Oh, okay. And then you stay. Icarus doesn't know that. <laughs> okay, so you're fine then. So yeah, you pull Rex up. What do you guys do? And we will flip over to you guys in a second. Uh, well, Rex is eyeing this pile of gold. Does it look like a lot of gold? It looks like a fair bit of gold, yes. Also, you just lost two companions? Who yeah. said get the gold and the other one is a fucking, you know, kaiju? Yeah. Yes, I'm going to go get them. I don't know what just happened. <laughs> I could try flying down there. I think your camera's well, broken both there. Oh no, I have the guard up. Oh, um, okay. Going on behind me and I don't want to. No worries. <laughs> also, we're all still telepathically connected. Yes. Yeah, we are. So then I will flip real quick just so you guys can see what you see. So give me one second. Absolutely. I believe it's here. Oh Big. yeah. Zoom One second. Out, zoom out. Zoom out. Jesus fucking Christ! This is a big map. I love it. Oh my God! Yeah. When you have to zoom out to twenty six percent just to fucking see the entire map, that's pretty good. Rosalind. <sighs> yeah. You take and turn back to normal size because of the constraints of the maze. Nine damage of fall damage and are prone. I'm I'm gonna use stones endurance. So okay, so I take two damage. Okay, and Icarath, you are on your disc. <laughs> he's he's like curled and hunched up holding on and to it. As you see this thing like in front of you. Uh, as you see as you see a boot laying on the ground in front of it, covered in blood. Is this a bad time to say there's a snake in my boot? Wait, is it... Rosalind di like knocked out? No, he's just he's just prone. Okay, because unless he lost concentration, he's still fucking massive, isn't he? No, uh, no, that guy oh, when he went shoot, through the yeah. fog. I should probably roll for concentration. Yeah, I'm good. <laughs> yeah, but when it, yeah, it dispelled when you went through the fog. Well, oh, the intensors would have dispelled. Oh, no, that's true. Fucking take damage then. Shit, sorry. <laughs> Six damage to you, and you are also prone. I also kind of just imagine you're like so Oof. fat, get in my way, and then land on him. <laughs> and he just says. Okay, fog in his mind. He says to, to everybody, he's like, "Fog dispels magic. Weird Wait, boot thing. No, wouldn't... that's Rosalind. Weird thing. Weird thing." <laughs> wouldn't that also you wanna, dismiss you... your like thing? Because it isn't that magic. Meta just said it had been a minute. So. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Yep. My beat. So you see this awful thing it looks like it's just finished eating something and it starts running towards oh, you no. and that's what you're able to relay if they contact to the people on the main map yes yeah, so you guys just hear telepathically Ikrat being like oh there's a weird boot oh no it's just Rosa. oh god there is something weird down here and then that's where we're back at alright there we go that's what you guys know I go down there to get them Oh, you think he can come back up? But I don't know if he can. It can fly naturally. Yes, but what if there's something magical that keeps... You could all jump. True. Just... 
Do it. Do it. Yeah, I don't think that ate through either of our temp HP, honestly. Yeah, it was like six damage. It was. It was like a, it wasn't that. It was a thirty foot fall, so it was or whatever it was for yeah. three feet. Any of your temp HP, we. Uh, yeah, you didn't get it a fancy meal. Can I'm, we? Can um, we fashion a rope and just climb down? I mean, if someone has fifty foot of rope, hemp them. Then yeah, probably. Uh, do you really want to risk going down there and being stuck down there? I don't imagine know. this thing is going to be fucking starting combat any well, second, Well, you don't know so... where you are anyways. Yeah. yeah. It's yeah, like you can get problem. more lost. Yeah, that's exactly what he's worried about. You can't get more lost than already completely lost. At least you could be together. I mean, th there... You can... There are degrees of lost, like the show. You just don't, you're like, that's it, Korea. I do. <laughs> well, I'm just thinking that if it's only 30 feet, unless that fog is completely soundproof, you'd probably hear us fighting that thing by now. Yeah. Sure. Well, well you, you would be able to relay that. that you're fighting this thing. Well, no, because Ikarath wouldn't just keep telling them shit telepathically when he's going to see fight. through no, the fog. No, because you can't hear through it. Can we see through it? No. Oh. Hmm. It's like pea soup. Who would pee in their soup? And then we will flip back over here real quick. <laughs> that should not be the flipping point. <laughs> and this thing has a better initiative roll than you... Well, I mean, roll initiative, but I doubt did you're going to yeah, win I was gonna that. Say, did it... Did it fucking get better than a goddamn 27? Um, well, this is a new initiative roll, but it it did oh, better wow. than you unless you get a very specific roll. Oh. oh. Why did Miss Lippy's she open? Yeah. Oh, sweet. It's got the same thing now. It's just, okay. Do we have all the right things in here? Yeah. All the right junk in all the right places. Rosalind, what's your armor class? 12. I am a sorcerer. Yes, it hits you. <laughs> as, its as its tongue whips out and the razor sharp edge cuts across your prone body for 25 damage what the f I mean I'm still high so like <laughs> you're bleeding and lacerated but you're like motherfucker I'm gonna beat the shit out of you for that and it's Icarus' ass turn he, he doesn't even get up immediately he just looks and he points at it and he goes gross <laughs> say bro Bro, could you not? It does save that, so it takes half. How much intelligence does this thing have? Yeah, it takes half. It just rolled really high. Fucking A. Yeah, I mean, it's pretty smart. It's not like super smart. It's like a 14 of smart. So it's smarter than Rosalind. <laughs> you forget, I have a minus two intelligence. <laughs> Talk to my minus four in wisdom, man. So it oh. takes. Actually, no, because uh, I no longer serve Grot, so. And it, it howls, wisdom. though, and retracts its tongue, and it screams at you. Okay, wrong name, got it. And then he'll stand up, and he'll go stand over Rosalind and be like, I defy you. And Rosalind. How, how like, round, how wide is this thing? Not very wide, like one person. Is it upside down right now, or is it horned? 
N no, it it's. I can't tell what the fuck this thing is. Um, <laughs> I think I need to. I think it's supposed to start upside down in most of the cards, so it looks kind of like this. There you okay. go. Okay. That's what it looks like now. Hands were horns or something, and I was like, "Is nope. this just a fucking head? like?" Ooh. No, this okay. is a, this is a nasty. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. Yeah, I think. And I'm you see do... the same material that's over on Voltaire over this thing's entire body. Okay. For uh, a second, I forgot he was cursed, and I was like, "Dragon scales?" No, not those <laughs> things. <laughs> <laughs> oh. So, Rosalind, okay. what are you doing? And you also have oh. the chance to report what's going on to the people above. Yeah, Rosalind, above, you would have heard him also something. saying, ooh, there's something gross. Oh, it's Rosalind. Yeah. Uh, for, first <laughs> off, also, I did. I just looked up the rules just because I'm like, yeah, it is athletics versus acrobatics for it. Okay, what the bad gateway? What do you mean? Sorry. It's no internet for you. Uh, all right. Uh... Yeah, I'm gonna like just see if this thing isn't wide. I'm gonna see if I can pick this thing up like a whip. Honestly. Uh oh, and it, I should. <laughs> I am so oh, glad no. I have advantage because I have that size up right now. It's not any better. <laughs> Jesus Christ, dude. Oh, uh, well, it was a strength. It would have um, been a strength versus well, an athletics versus an athletics, anyways, so. What's it roll? Um, wait. What are you doing with that? Oh, you're trying to grapple this thing. Yeah, I mean it's the size athletics of athletics versus so athletics, athletics, which it, yeah, yeah, it beats you out, right? <laughs> yeah, that's fine. <laughs> just oh. it just shoves you back. Like... I forgot. <laughs> I st I only took three damage from falling because I have my fucking cloak. There you go. I... And we flip back <laughs> now for a little bit. Oh, do you report anything to the people above? Oh, yeah. Uh, if, if Rosalind... No, Rosalind. Rosalind can. Yeah, Rosalind. Uh, I'm just gonna, like... Anything I say, they'll hear, right? Yes. Yeah, you're, you're connected telepathically, so any okay. conversation you have is like thinking your thoughts to someone else. Uh, I'm... For the sake of comedy, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be like, he's just a little frustrated. He's like, come here, lanky bitch. So you hear that for some reason. And Which I imagine Voltaire is like, is he talking about me? <laughs> <laughs> so, let me know if I can do this. Yeah. But can I jump and prepare to cast Misty Step? And the moment I see what it is, I can teleport myself right above it. You can think you can do that. <clears throat> I can't tell you whether you can or can't. Like, you don't know. Okay, that's what I'm gonna do. <laughs> so you jump down there? Jump down, prepared to cast Misty Step, so that like, the moment I can see what they're attacking, I'll like teleport right above it. Nothing so you are not there. able to cast the spell. You take seven. Five, Twelve fall damage. Oh. And we'll flip you back over and you'll need to roll initiative. Mm-hmm. So pick yourself into here. I'll pull, I'll pull you in real quick. And then we can roll initiative. Uh, we, we're in the wrong place, aren't we? I am. Okay. Resize you. So Add much. your turn. Yeah, roll initiative with your person. That was supposed to be normal. There you go. We're good. And so we'll go back up to here. So you see this thing. You pop down. It's You're going to be going after it. Um, so this thing will attack. And it'll try and pierce its tongue through Rosalyn. Rosalyn, what's your armor class? 12. Yeah, and then roll a... That's the reason why I fucking put myself in front save. of you, dude. Con save? Con uh save? Absolutely. That's the one save that I'm good at. You'd um unfortunately lost to a nineteen, naturally. You should stop saying that, because every time you say that you fail. <laughs> That's the one save I'm good at. 
Bear. I know, every time. I don't think there's been a single time that I've actually saved against a creature's con save. 10. <laughs> 25. It's a self-fulfilling prophecy. 33 damage? And you are bound because its tongue is inside of you and out the back. I, oh. I think... Oh. And that can be reported to the people above by Rex or Rosalind or Ikrath. You said 33? Yeah. 39 hit points. Big sheesh. So, is anybody saying anything to the people above? Rex is just gonna be like, uh, Help! <laughs> I don't think so. I think Ikrath is still just gonna be like, "You foul beast!" And Rosalind, the I, I, is Rosalind even conscious after that? Yes, hit? yes. Yeah, no. I have thirty-three health left, or sorry, thirty-nine health left. But like, I, I don't know. I don't know what I would even say after that. So, I don't say. I mean, you're right impaled now. right now. Yeah. Oh, look, I've been impaled. <laughs> Um, so what are the people up here doing? Say, Logno, Tharak, what... Maybe I should go down there and try to kill that thing for them. If anything, we should all go down somehow. Yeah. I can probably... Oh, God! Jesus. That's wow. the sound that I made when I got stabbed, isn't it? Because, eh. <laughs> Sorry, that was my fire alarm. Uh, smoke alarm, <laughs> sorry, not fire alarm. But, um, <laughs> uh, maybe I could... Hold both of you and fly you down there. If you're up for it, let's do it. I oh, do it. Cool. All right. Be very careful. And um, uh, people of clones say they got a little sick. So, uh, and he just goes and he like wraps his arms around each of them, and he descends. Okay. Yeah, you are able to fly down and land successfully. Let me delete all of you. And then you will all roll initiative once we get back there. <clears throat> Line up one by one behind each other and, the, and uh, Voltaire will be in the middle and then you can choose who is on your left and right. Okay. Uh, you probably got... Second. You probably got um, Wagner on his left and Tharak on his right. All right. Here I am, stuck in the middle with you. <laughs> Why is he so sure? Because these are disproportionately scaled caverns. Okay. And you're kind of a big avatar, left or right. Yeah. I mean, we could oh, like be like, now. oh, hi, Voltaire. You've been losing oh. weight. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Slim fast, Voltaire. All right, so then we got to... So to pull yourself on, go to the little newspaper at the top right. Vlognar? Sorry, uh, can you repeat that? Yep, so in the top right, click the newspaper. Yep. And then go to party one and open it up. And then click and drag Lognar on in between Rex and Voltaire. Okay. And then I will resize you. Perfect. And then make sure you have yourself selected, and then roll initiative from your character sheet. You are in there. That is. And then the second attack, because this thing rolled a nat 20, it retracts its tongue. And slashes out again. It only gets to do that thing once. Rosalind, what's your armor class? Like, I'm not trying to mock you. I it's literally 12. don't remember. Oh, it's 12. Okay, I thought that you were, like, doing that DM thing where it's like, it does a 26. No, I literally don't have a great short-term memory. I had no idea what that was. Oh, it's fine. Yeah, you yeah, definitely no. get hit for a fairly high roll here. 22 damage. 
I'm still alive. Cutting across the other side of your chest. So now you just have an X across your chest from this thing because its tongue is razor sharp. And then it's Icarus' turn. There's Rosalind's just bleeding everywhere. Yeah. That seems to be a theme. I'm sorry, guys. That's fine. I wonder if I cast Banishment on this guy, would he go to the same place the other one was and they'd have to fight each other? <laughs> <laughs> I think for Banishment you get to Wait. stay. Oh, right, it didn't come back. It's like, yeah. where's the other one coming and falling? <laughs> no, we still have a few more rounds before that happens. Yep. <sighs> yeah, it just, it's just a harmless dummy plane. And while the target is there, it's incapacitated, so they can't do anything anyway that they both were sent there. Yep. So, what are we doing, Icarath? Mm. Trying to decide if I should yeet him out of here, or if I should just fucking go for broke and try to smack this thing. Um... Fuck it, I'm gonna try to smack this thing. Ikrath again puts himself directly between Rosalind and his thing, <laughs> and he gives Rosalind a look like, dude. Uh, then he turns around, and he's gonna try to stuff a chromatic orb down this thing's throat. Roll also a. melee attack? Uh, like with a weapon? At, yeah, at disadvantage. Like an unarmed attack. At I don't have an unarmed. I'm a, I'm a wizard, sir. <laughs> yes, yeah, so whatever that would be. This is to see if you can cram it down its neck. Might be dexterity. No, it's it's a, it's it's a I, that's a, I'm not actually trying to open its mouth and put it oh, in there. Okay. I'm trying to fucking it's a it's a range spell that I'm basically just pointing directly okay. at it and firing off. Okay, then okay, yeah, you could have gotten a yeah. bonus for that, but yeah, you can go with the conservative route. I mean, if you'd allow <laughs> sleight of hand, which uses dex instead of strength, yeah. Unfortunately, that's what, that's what an unarmed due attack to the would size be with of dex. this thing's tongue and its razor razor nature. No, no, I don't think so. So does an 18 hit? An 18 does hit. I'm going to upcast this puppy to third level and splink him. Spl For 19 him. damage as it recoils and hisses. <laughs> and that was, we're going to go ahead and say that that was an acid ball. So haha. -ha. Oh, it, it licks its lips. Oh, does acid not hurt this thing? Oh, no, no. It licks its lips. Can it kind of slurps Good. it in. I think it's you just not... healed it. <laughs> uh, well. I'm sorry. This is not literally targeting you. This is... This is... No, no, no. I, I wanted to know if, ac if this thing was an acid-based creature. That's the reason why I threw acid at it. Okay. So that's all Icky can do. Lognar. Yes. All right. Um. So Lagner moves forward towards the creature. Yep. Just put yourself in between Icarus. All right. <laughs> the liquor, the liquor thing. Icarus. Well, Icarus and Rosalind, are you and Rex? Are you allowing her to pass? Yeah. I'm, yeah, yeah, I'm trying to shove Rosalind farther away from this thing actively as we speak. So yes. <laughs> I am a melee wizard, and you shall not oh, stifle right. my creativity. So, oh, Lognar, you are. learn how to put armor on then, mate. <laughs> Lognar, you are face to face <laughs> with this hideous beast. Oh. All right. That's an extra roll of shit, but it punched me for it. I'm gonna live with this. So I'm can, gonna live uh, with this. can Lognar bite this creature? You can try. Yes, you yeah. can certainly try. All right, let's do it. Kachom, Kachom, Kachom. However, remember, this thing is covered in that stuff mm. that is mar. Well, you don't know. You don't know. 
No, we don't know. Continue. Yes, go ahead. Concerned. I'm sorry. Go ahead. What? What's the role for bite? Yeah, I'm trying to figure. I out. think it's. I think it's an attack, and it it's uses a, strength. Uh, it's a lizard it's focus. Strength? Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's strength plus proficiency, oh. and then the the damage is one d four plus strength. Mm -hmm. That door's been open okay. the entire break. So I would just I would just click <laughs> on strength here. One d six plus strength plus zero. A... I think, I think I'm making a thing. I don't know. Did are you made? Be strength plus proficiency. Should it come out to plus eight? Yeah. Yeah, but plus oh, four. Right. Yeah. And the damage is one d six plus strength. Yeah, yeah, that's the bite. Let's see if this works. Does that look like it's supposed to look? Yeah. Yep. And does that look like the right damage? No. Uh, no. Zero plus four. So there's no dice in there. So you yeah. gotta roll. You gotta add the one. How D6. do I? How do I do this? Okay. Oh, okay. Maybe. You gotta go into one, damage maybe it was. Maybe dice. it was fake. Oh, I think it was fake. But like the the stand-in was that. Now let's try it. There you go. There, there, there we go. Okay. So now, now there's good. a bite in your list. If you click on that. It'll bite. Okay, let me get to that. Hey, look, I made a thing in roll twenty. Perfect. I'm proud of awesome. myself. Thank you. Holy fuck! Oh. Your yeah. first attack. That twenty, baby. So in the chat Let's below go. the green twenty-eight, you see bite. Click on bite. Yes. Okay. Nat, nat twenty. Nat oh 20. no. Oh, sad days, man. Wait, the, uh, that's sad. Wait, why is it just plus one? Because, because the second one. dice was a yeah, the second dice was just a one. Ah, uh, so a four and a one. Okay. So you deal nine damage, biting a chunk off of it. Roll a Constitution save, however. So on your sheet near the left, there's saving throws, right under where it says proficiency bonus. Click the text where it says Constitution. Okay. Oh, no, no, no. Okay, does someone want to spend those points? Uh, yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Oh, that's the Where's thing, Lognar. If you have, like, a phone or something open to Twitch, you collect mm -hmm. these point things that Twitch gives you, and okay. you can redeem them to give other people, aside from yourself, blue points, to give inspirations to people, to give disinspirations to enemies, and to, once, I think, per session... Reroll a natural one, which Riley has redeemed for you, which means oh. you get so, yeah. to roll that Constitution save again. Okay, thank you. All right. Yeah, and that one equals bad days. <laughs> Very. Bad. All right, so I go again. Constitution. Yep. yep. Perfect. Unfortunately, you did not do much better. You did better than oh, a nat yeah. one, though. Yeah. Um. <laughs> And so what happens is as you as you chomp down, some black like almost like writhing scar tissue comes down from the side of your mouth and down the side of your neck and it's pulsing. It looks very similar to what's on Voltaire and it comes kind of like this and across and then back down. So let me draw because I can draw a face. Maybe. No, this is going to be really bad, but Look at that, that's a face. Yes. Good face. That, that is really good. Kinda looks like that. Okay. And it was writhing. It's 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 not good news. Damn. But you you haven't encountered this before, so continue. Voltaire, you right. feel a strong kinship with Bognar now for some strange reason. <laughs> and Bognar, do you have back. other things to do? Well, right. is bite a bonus action or an action? I think it's an attack, which would be an attack. Yeah, I'm not, well, I mean, that would be two attacks, so... You could technically bite again if you wanted. Cause... Or use your great or axe. Or if you have a weapon. Yeah, if we have a weapon. <laughs> yeah, use your great axe. <laughs> 
Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, what's, I'm encouraging what's, what's stronger? <laughs> Definitely the yeah. Oh boy. That definitely hits. Let's go. <laughs> so yeah, click the text for the great axe. Yeah. In in the chat, and you'll roll yeah. for damage. For sixteen damage. That's almost max. All right. So yes, you do sixteen damage after becoming infected. And with that 16 damage, you bash through its brain and it splits into two and it falls and screams and it kind of disintegrates like, but not like into dust into like, it kind of turns into black ooze and it black oozes away and left there with only 50% of a head is Magni's dead body. It was inside of him. Another fan. Wait, what? Dead Magni. With half a head. Half a head. <laughs> <laughs> well, I guess we were ahead of the game on him. Uh, uh, I'm not um, any character. Not saying that in character. I'm not that big of a. So how you just how you just gonna start turning around and walk down this tunnel metal? What does he see? You see. Uh, a dead end. Met a quick question. Yeah. Has sitting in this thing's gullet for so long, like, really messed up his armor and weapons and shit? Shit. Um, sorry, one second. I'll be right back. Something is going on. I don't know what. He's just running away to Google how long acid takes to corrode <laughs> metal. I mean, it depends on he the type can't. of metal. That's the reason why I'm asking, because I don't know what type of metal, and I don't know, but um. Just so you guys know, Ikrath, if this metal, if his armor isn't in horrible shape, I'm going to take it off. I'm going to throw corroded dwarf armor at Roz and be like, just try for fuck's sake to get that to work, mate. <laughs> I, I'm not even upset. I've had, I've had 12 AC for so you, long. We, you you just fucking warmed you You're so fucking low. Honestly, dude, at 12th level, I highly recommend taking light armor as a feat I'm because uh, at 12th level I'm taking a level in fighter so then I can actually wear armor yeah or 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 if you if you take the feet um if you take a feet light armor you can put light armor on and that fucking can help a lot yeah I'm um, surprised that I don't this. have mage armor at this point honestly should, should yeah that's a it. level one spell so yeah, yeah, I, this, can, I know that sorcerers have to really choose what spells they pick carefully. I, but God I damn, can dude. change one spell this level, so I'm <sighs> gonna do that. I'm gonna change my witch bolt to uh, mage armor because I have needed armor this entire campaign. I know. <laughs> um, Meta, I was asking before you took off. Um... <laughs> Uh, is is his armor and equipment like corroded beyond all belief, or is it still yeah. salvageable in some way? No, it's all it's all it's barely holding together. Did he have any magic items on him? Didn't he have like an axe or something, like a plus one axe, or was that someone else? Because like specifically, if it's magic enough, stuff like that will avoid the corrosion and stuff like that. That is true. Magical items rest. would. Because I, I told everybody else, Ikrath, if the if his armor and his shield specifically hadn't been fucking just like let's see, super corroded, he was gonna throw it at Roslyn and be like, "Fucking get some AC, bitch." I don't know if you have anything that's magical. Yeah, I don't think he carried anything magical on him. I thought he had like an axe that we bought, or was that something else? No, that was like a plus one axe or something like that. But mm -hmm. and Ikrath's not interested in that. He wanted to know if he had anything that he can keep, like as a keepsake kind of deal. I mean, I at one point, he ha he touched. Oh, you do have a axe. portable humidor. That is magical. That's true. Yeah. What is that? I definitely take that. Cold cigars. Which has nineteen oh. standard cigars. Yep. Uh, next time we, t uh, Icarus stands up with that in his hand. He's like, next time we tiny hut, we're gonna fucking smoke one for our boy here. And has twenty one loot points to be distributed as Voltaire Wait, wishes. Wait, if somebody dies, you can loot as Voltaire wishes. <laughs> okay, so. 
<laughs> one person here without any loot points is Lognar, so Lognar is getting all 21. Oh, Lognar bro, gets Lognar's 21 loot like points. Inheritance. <sighs> Yep, so to explain auctions. what loot points do is there's this channel in discard called like auction or loot points or some shit like that and occasionally just randomly i'll add everybody in the dice pals thing and you'll have 48 hours to bid on whatever bullshit item i put in there sometimes it's great sometimes it sucks sometimes it could be great and it's used in weird ways and then it sucks and sometimes it's amazing and you just you really never know what you're bidding at at any given point I but see. it's cool shit it, it's always oh my interesting yeah, no, I will say, favorite thing that I ever got from there was the, uh, music box, because I annoyed Cairo for the entire latter half of a season. <laughs> Just the entire time, every time we would call, I'd play that fucking thing. <laughs> uh. The only thing I've ever gotten from there are the gloves. I need so, to to anyways, with a plop, you hear... This thing pop into existence, but it pops into existence and falls because like there's a there's a roof to this thing and you see it pop in in the top of it, and then you see it just it it, it half of it slides down the wall and then falls over. I cast firebolt. As... It's it's in, it's it's only half of a creature. It's dead. Oh, I, I mean you yeah. can you can definitely <laughs> cast it and certainly it. catch yeah. it on fire. Okay. Can I still cast Firebolt at it? Yeah, you absolutely do, and it burns. Does it smell like meat or disgusting? It smells like disgusting <laughs> and acid and nastiness. I, you know, you gotta ask. Oh, like, I think I saw more bits of, you know, my friend's little, and he gestures to his chest emblem, getting his mass, on uh, a new friend here, Lognar, so you might want to handle that before it gets too serious. Uh, I was gonna like step out from around that corner. Do you guys hear me? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So I was gonna step out around the corner, get in front of Voltaire, and just look at um the log log dar and motion the motor log not coming at it. Come at it. He's gonna like motion for them to stand in front of him. Lognar, what do you do? Um, Lognar is gonna go back with uh, Thalarak and Voltaire. Alright. You. Because we're trying this day two. Divine intervention, baby! We hear both of them. Let's see what happens. Roll it a little lower. Oh. You just did about oh, yeah. the worst you could, couldn't you? Almost. Uh, yeah. Wait, I thought that it was the high numbers, or is it just the low one? That's my bad. Well, so, per like per the roll book, it says below twenty. I if think. you roll a number equal to or lower than your cleric level, your deity intervenes. Yeah. Oh, okay. That's it's supposed bad. to be a, it's supposed to be a d20. Is it supposed to be? I thought it was yeah. 100. No, it's 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 you have a 50 shot 50% shot of it happening. Oh. Um, oh, I thought it was 100. At level 11, you have a 55% shot of it happening. Oh, well, you're supposed I... to you're supposed to roll a d20 and if it's equal to your level or lower, then it works. If it's higher, it's the one time where rolling low is good. Oh, I thought it was but a d100. You're, 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 you're like... never going to fucking you're never going to have a fucking divine intervention even at level 20. If you roll T D hundreds, you'll get like a few of those the whole campaign. Yeah, and, that, and that's what I thought like the point was because like a god intervening isn't gonna be like a regular thing. It is if you're one of his more powerful clerics, though. That's true. Yeah, I mean, when you get it doesn't, it doesn't you know. mean that God him. It doesn't. But mean wait, no. Than, if you're like, successful, you cannot use this ability again for seven days, though. Yeah. Yeah, and then he and then if he tries no, 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 right now, he can't yeah, try until tomorrow if it fails. But he hasn't tried. Yeah. He rolled a D one hundred. Yeah. yeah. So go ahead and try. Nope. Nope. Basically the on. second highest you could get. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and then at level 20, you don't even have to roll. 
because it, happens, yeah. it would be yeah. you, your your whole class is represented on the dice, so it just happens. So what do you guys? Well, what do we see? Well, Falik, after trying to do divine intervention, if that doesn't work, he's gonna try to do the thing that he's done before that didn't work so well with Holter, but he'll at least try here. He's going to try to do remove first or lesser restoration that will try to remove the disease. Okay. Well, you're still casting stat. Yeah. Ooh. You are able to remove it as it was in its early stages and then it retracts and it splats onto the ground and it starts writhing towards Rosalyn. As it rises, I immediately just cast Sacred Flame on it. Just straight up on the palm of hand. Uh, well, it's, it's just immediately hits. The thing has to make a dexterity saving throw. Oh, okay. And I'm assuming it really can't. Well, it can, but it's not good enough. All right, cool. And it Radio burns again. up and goes in the poof of smoke. This time, Thalric is just catching it like straight from his hand, like from his palm, just right down on it. God damn, I hate this, this shit. Thalric no, healed well. Spooky. And he just looks like a vault and he goes, I will get this shit out of you, I swear to God. Go more than You know what I meant. Oh my lord. So what are you guys doing? You have Magni's dead body here, half two halves of a Monster thing. Tarek is gonna go over to Maggie's yeah. ruined body and just uh he's gonna light it on he's gonna like prepare it to light it on fire so it doesn't get even more corrupted. If it's not, you know. He's gonna try to do like a little funeral pyre for it. Alright. In a very I cramped won't. passageway I would not Tarek would not think this was a good idea. Thalric is not in his right mindset right now. Okay, then, yeah, if you're fine with that, but, like, sane Thalric would know that you're probably going to choke people out a little bit. Yeah, it's not... No, 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 he has a plan with how this is all cordoned off. He has a plan for this. Okay. Hey, so, he, and, mind you, he's moving all the bodies in the here, but he's, put, like, he's shoving, like, the two diseased ones, like, in the corner here. And he's putting Magni, like, right here in the okay. middle. And he's gonna just prep the whole thing. Um, if anyone has any extra rags or, like, what? spare cloth, basically, that they're willing to give him, he's gonna use it. Uh, sure. I have an outfit that I can just rip, like, the hem off of, or, like, the bottom off of. Cool. He will start using it to try to like just kind of ceremonial, like make like a little cover over Magni. Mm -hmm. Is anybody letting Icarath know that you're like doing funeral rites for Magni? Ik 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 Icarath wouldn't leave too far. He would know that okay. we want to do it because Icarath is the one who fucking went to such lengths for Jordy. Yeah, the but only that was thing... because he was a high elf specifically, yep. and Ikrath is a high elf. Whereas Thalrak and Magnir are dwarves, so he's and... letting the dwarf do the dwarf thing, and he's just gonna kind of yep. keep watch and at Thalrak, this corner. The only thing not eaten away by acid is his humidor. Right, and I picked I picked that yep. up. Yeah, then Ikrath took that. Yep. To share later. I'm not trying to fucking be a. <laughs> no, 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 no. I know, but Th Thalric would actually, like, look and make sure that like, there was nothing else of, like, potential value from nope. it. Nope. Alright. He's gonna ask Rex to step back once everything's ready. And then he's going to light the body on fire. And then they're gonna step back past this little open way, because you said earlier that this, the way these tunnels are, this should be big enough to conceal it. Morden's wall. He's gonna make a little tomb. 
for Magni's remains. Give him a little burial ground. Oh. Well, that's really wholesome. That is very nice. I'm glad that we have such wholesome people in our party. And he just quietly puts his hand to the Morden's wall that he created and just gives a very quiet prayer in Dwarvish. Then when he's done, he just slowly lowers his hand and gives a heavy sigh and turns to the rest of the group. All right, let's get moving. I don't want to lose even more people today. And he looks at Rosalind and walks up to Rosalind's and then cast Cure Wounds at third level for him. Tharak's seen a lot of shit. Yeah. Tharak's also lost a lot of friends. Yeah, well, yeah. When you are doing that, Ikrath is going to go up to... It, he's going to cast Magic Mouth, and so anybody who approaches this for the rest of time will get a small message. Darug will warn you not to put it on the board as well, just in case he has to ever discover it. He'll put it, he'll put it back. He'll put, he'll put it like on the on the wall right next to it. Yeah. But basically, now if anybody comes up to it, they will get... Yeah. And if we can find our way and back then, here, there's another thing I can do for his... The higher level healing weird, because it's like multiplying the single dice when it really shouldn't be. That's, oh, why do you... Why, well, Tony, where are you a bitch? I don't know, but it looks like 7, 8, 2, and 3 on my screen for the dice. So that's a whole whopping 20. One second, yep. I'm just there. Plus my... Oh, there we go. Oh, that oh, is permanently weird. a part of the map now. 20 plus my wisdom. All right, just you're four. on the text. Yep. Okay, sorry. 24. <laughs> Rosalind, you get 24 health. Okay. And boom. The monument to Magni. To Magni. Magnet. What do you guys do? Zarek is gonna go try to catch up to Icarath right now. Well, Icarath, he he cast the spell and then he just fucking walked back to where he was, yeah. basically. So, and, and when you walk past it, it would have triggered him. But like, in not in Icarath's voice, in like somebody like a bard's voice that Icarath once heard, you know. So that way it's actually mm -hmm. nice and it's not, Here's your man, you fucking locked a lot of seagulls. <laughs> like, it's, no, it's, 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 instead, it's it's like, Here lies a man who gave his all all the time. Smoke with the seagulls, hero of Safe Falls. Yeah. If, when Tarek hears that, he's like trying to hold back a tear or two. He's definitely like trying to keep it together. <laughs> now is not the time to have a breakdown. Yeah, the next time we tiny hut would probably be better, but like also, if you need one, like we understand. Yeah, he he knows. But right now, has to notify any next of him. We'll we'll figure that out once we're out of here. I think he had parents. Didn't he have parents? I think he was parents. Because I know parents? he's talked about his parents because they're even child? older than he is. Probably dead. <laughs> his parents are I'm, probably dead. I know we've met Balrog's parents. Yeah, you're going back to start a revolution with them. Don't forget. And no, no, no. Your... Dad's missing. Mom is, Mom is leading the revolution. That is suspiciously missing. Yeah. What are you guys doing? As opposed to just being like kind of missing, but we're not worried about it. Yeah, no, we're very worried about this. Oh yeah, we're gonna find out that he's like the impromptu king leader, or whatever, and then this is just like a very angry divorce. Why oh, you gotta put that on me now? <laughs> Why you gotta put that curse on me, Ricky Bobby? <laughs> I'm sorry. So you see the cavern <laughs> stretching out before you in either direction. What do you do? 
Rex is going to turn back to Voltaire and ask him, You dragon thing, where do you feel this hunger pointing towards? Oh, yeah. Voltaire tries to focus on his hunger. Um, that direction. <clears throat> well, I'm north. Full perception, everybody who just turned that corner. Do I even have to? Just choose to fail. It's like that wasn't supposed to be a disadvantage. Yeah, I fucking rolled a raw 18 and got a 15, motherfucker. Yeah, I don't. Icarath has never, ever seen something with perception that no one else no, has seen. No, Icarath, you thought you saw something run around the corner. Rex, you thought you saw a flicker of something. Goji, you are certain you saw nothing. There wasn't anything there. He fucking uncoils his whip and he just fucking charges around the corner with an action prepared to attack on sight. Roll perception. You see something whip around the corner at the far end of the hall. Uh, what can he see down here? Another turn at the bottom. And he goes, he's still fucking running. You go that way, Rex. And he, he dashes this direction while pointing that direction for Rex. All right, Rex will run this way. Right. Knowing that you're sending Rex the way the shadow thing went. Oh, yeah. Okay. But Thank he assumes you. that this is going to connect right here. Yep. Thank you for the follow, it's Lexius. Icarath, you see this hallway. Rex, roll perception. Rex, wait! <laughs> Hold up! And he continues to run. The dead end. Dead end. Just it. Yeah, I swear I fall. Okay. Uh, uh. Okay. Rex, you think you see something running around the corners? <laughs> Rex is gonna prepare Green Flame Blade to swing at anything that looks hostile. Uh huh. Oh, Nickrath will prepare Booming Blade. Roll perception again. Uh, you there see we nothing. Go. Come on, everybody, no lollygagging. Well, a little bit of lollygagging, but we just lollied a bunch of gags, so come on. That could have gone in a much worse direction. Right? Really I'm so sorry. <laughs> could have gone so much worse. Vlognar, make a perception check. Okay. So below where the saves are, it's kind of like near the middle. Uh, just click on perception. And Rosalind, make a perception check. Of course. Come on, Rod. <laughs> this is one that I'm not great at, but. Uh... Hey, you, I mean, you said that about you said you were great at con save, but who knows? Oh my <laughs> God, that's the highest roll I've gotten all night. Rosalind. Oh, Roll. Wait. Don't go back where you were. Stay there. Okay. Um. <laughs> what's your armor class? <laughs> Can I cast major? No. You don't it's even know 12. what's happening. It's twelve. <laughs> That's you want to hear the way? Hmm. How's that sound? That, that sounds sick. <laughs> Sour gonna lose another friend. Find out in the next episode of Dog Pound D and D. Don't do this to me. Don't do this to me. We got no more left of this shit, man. Take forty-three damage. As this thing drops out of the sky with its tongue directly through your throat. <laughs> Pinning you to the ground. 
You do have a chance to gurgle scream, but you have to gurgle. Lognar well, can hear this. Technically, we would all immediately know he's Oh, there you go. Yeah. Also, I am now unconscious. Everybody roll initiative. <clears throat> Including right. Rosalind. Oh, no. Rolls on that Are we one. seeing where we're at right now? Where yeah. You just fucking moved all your fucking movement. Yeah, go back where oh, you people hold were. On, that's oh, yeah. Okay. Back. yeah, it is a two. It's a two, not an at one. Not much better, but it's still not an at one. Okay. <laughs> hey, we need to be appreciative of not getting nat ones, honestly. Yeah, barbarian advantage on initiative is tight. Icarath did not hear anything, I don't think, from that distance. Tele telepathy. Oh, yeah, telepathy. You know what's going on. Yeah, you're fine. So is my it bad. my go? Yeah. He takes out his uh, go time capsule of coke, casts haste on himself, sprints all the way fucking here. Yep. And then he is going to go ahead and make an attack with, I can't believe it's not Vorpal. I love that weapon so you much. You hit. Yeah, but it's not critical. For nine damage. And he goes, look at me in the fucking eyes! You He's snap across its coke. exposed flesh. <laughs> and do you have what? any other things? Um, no, because not this turn. Because I. What's your armor class? Eighteen. And it slashes out with its tongue. What it roll? It misses. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I didn't need to freak ask. A little bit. No, I freak, didn't need to ask. A little bit there. <laughs> no, I didn't. I didn't need to ask. Well, I assumed you're above a 13 armor class. Yeah, I. Cause somebody around here, he fucking looks at Rosalind's corpse, knows to put on fucking armor. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm probably just like unconsciously giving you the middle finger right now, like. <laughs> Except it doesn't do you any good because with... you didn't wear any armor. The other claw, and with one of his clawed hands, he pounds down into Rosalind. Oh, Jesus. Uh, Rosalind, take one failed save. It's Thalrak's turn. Isn't it two if it's melee? I don't think so, is it? I think it's only yeah, no, one. Because it a melee is an automatic he's, crit. And crit yeah, he's, he's he's down, so it, it automatically crit, crits on him. So that's a, that's a, that's a double. <laughs> well, shit, Thalrak, run. <laughs> Thalrak, you better run. Run first, run. Thalrak, are you there? He's crying over Rosalind's impending death right now. <laughs> it's like two he can't believe it's going do. on. I can't believe it's not butter. <laughs> God. Alrak, what are you doing? Rosalind has two failed up. death saves. Alrak <laughs> is going to sprint right now. Or at least, at least see how far I can get. Yeah, really, really optimize that movement there. Uh, I'm gonna have to dash. You can get to right. No, you can get to right here. I don't. You don't. In the, I mean, you just have to heal him, yeah, stabilize him. He's a dwarf. He's got stubby little legs. Oh shit! Oh, yeah, Twenty-five meta, so I can go. Yeah, Wait, really. Bonus step five there. feet. Bonus, bonus, bonus step five feet. Oh yeah, I can do the bonus step five feet. You're there right. There you go. You so, can yeah, make can it into that. line of sight. Icarath just has to hit the ground. Icarath, are uh, you? Are you gonna go? Are you gonna go prone? <laughs> These are very yeah. tight, <laughs> tight halls. They're not. Icarus He's fucking using to... a whip right now. He's not gonna lie down. Yeah, Icarus doesn't have to go prone anyways. There's a whole thing to this. Really don't want to have to use it, but the Icarus only way just I needs can... line of sight for spells and shit oh, like that. Okay. <laughs> yep. Now, if he fucking had his hammer out and he was coming charging around the bed, then Ikrath might, but Ikrath can tell that he's out of fucking movement okay. speed by the time he gets there. <laughs> All right, go ahead. All right. Hold on. Let me find it. Alright, oh wait, no, I already cast the 6th level because I did the Hero's Feast. Oh shoot, you know what? Uh, the creature though, I'm going to cast Sacred Flame on. 
So I can't heal him without touching him. Oh no, so you're awesome. not going to be able to stabilize him? Um, no, but if he dies, it's not the end of the world. <laughs> because I have Revivify. I am, Revivify. I am so <laughs> beloved in this community. Look, I'm trying to, I'm trying to see, but I have to, like, all my healing spells, like, you have to no, touch you. them. Hey, Dude, Tyson, you're Ron, how you doing? If oh, wait, us, how no, you doing? I don't have to touch you. I have healing. Um, no, the, uh, don't you have like a word of healing or some bullshit? Mass healing word or something? Uh, yeah, that, <laughs> that, that clears everybody, but it's gonna be a waste if the rest of us are at full health. But I can do this instead, and it, I just have to see them. I say, Icaraf might uh, tell you if. Oh, okay. You are, I am taking 20, but you are healing 20. So Rosalind, you are at 20 HP, and you are conscious. You are also pinned in the chest by the claws of this thing. And, uh, 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 what kind of feeling do, 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 do. And Tharek, what else do you do? That's all I can do. I did my movement, I did my spell, that's all I can do. I don't have any, like... You did your bonus, too. Yep. I and it is Lognar's turn. Guys. I am all done. I feel like it. Alright. Um. Lognar is gonna go forward and try to. You can squeeze on past us. Guy. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Alright, so I will use my great axe once again. You hit. Just barely glancing off its side for six damage. You get a second attack. Yep. Okay. Nope, you have to. Oh, um, you, you have to roll the hit. The thing from the character sheet. Okay. You hit. For 12 additional damage, crushing through its side as large chunks of its ribcage pull away with your great axe. Yeah. Do you have anything else? Um. Let's see. Rosalind's really got to stop meeting people like this. Yeah. That, that quote can be amended to just read, Rosalind's got to stop. <laughs> Rosalind does need to stop, honestly. Could I use my dagger or no? Because is that um, an attack? Yeah. No, I think unless you did like a action -y thingy or yeah, so you you get an action which you can take to do some things when you're not like swinging, but that's your that's most of what you do as a barbarian. Um, okay. As a barbarian, you can also rage though, which gives you some bonuses and stuff like that. I don't think right. you need to here because there's just one of these things and there's like nine of us. Because yeah, raging uh, makes you tired. If we if we if we find a uh, if we find a Maybe big cost. A, a big enemy to fight or anything like that on your first oh, turn you want to start raging Voltaire, <laughs> Koji you can help because you're a barbarian yeah we got a lot of angry uh, people I here I mean right. I'm a berserker but should it just end here then like if I say yeah if you don't yeah. have any other things Yeah. maybe we'll maybe just, just so that there's room to fight maybe scooch down like right there yeah, so that way Voltaire can yeah Okay. Not all the way out of its, uh, because if you, if you, if you move into the range where a creature can attack you, and then you move out of that creature's range, it can attack you while it leaves, but if you okay. stay in its kind of or orbit, or, you know, its, its area that it can hit you in, then you don't make it, it doesn't automatically get to attack you. Okay. So right there, you just made enough room for, for our next guy to come in and smack him, yep. and you don't suffer any consequences for that. Perfect. Thank and we'll you. see what Rosalind does. You are pinned. Okay. Don't worry, man. I got you. If you if this if you die right here, I got you. It's I got this. I got this. Uh, 
Mage armor. Finally. Yeah. You do that, Wait, you're still you impaled had though. Mage armor this whole fucking time. It lasts eight no. hours. Why did you fucking cast that back here? <laughs> no. Okay. Because I dude I change one spell. Which bowl? Oh, okay. That okay. Why don't you cast it immediately? <laughs> because I I asked him if I could and he said no. And I yeah, he I did ask. Know. He did ask about about that. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, no, he got he got he got fucked before he could cast it. He didn't even know it was Still, coming. Still, it only raises your I mean, DC like, by like three. It raises like, it by five right, right after you got it. Just just watch it rolls a nat twenty. Just yeah, well, it's not gonna roll less than a raw nineteen, bro. And that that's that's all I got. Okay, I mean you're still pinned right now. Yeah, I'm still pinned, but now I have three more AC. You do, Rex. From okay. way in the bleachers. <laughs> I should have fucking given Rex some. Voltaire coke. doesn't even get a turn. Poor oh, Voltaire. No, he does. No, he does. It oh. showed up in the initiative as red, but it's 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 a weird glitch they haven't fu yeah. rolled oh, out okay. yet. Then he gets fine. to roll at advantage, and the other one he rolled was a one. Ah, okay. He rolled yeah, a I two. Rolled a That's two. the reason why his initiative is so low. He does get a turn this time. He just yeah. go last. Yeah. He just go yeah. last. Okay, so I have to use the dash action to get all the way here, but I am going to action surge once we're there. And I'm going to start slicing and dicing at this fucking thing with the greatsword. You miss. All right. Oh, fuck. Just swing. Swung. And, you, and it, it wraps its tongue around the great sword and. No. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, yeah. No, Icarus no. has a chronological no. man. What? As a reaction, I'm saying re fucking roll that. He has a skill that does that. You hit. Yeah. So you go. And he. And wait. So it, it grabs it. It pulls your sword, it starts to swing it away off into the cavern, and then you see the sword go back into its tongue. Back into your hand, and you take the swing again, and you smash through its side. Roll damage. 12 damage, oh, cutting this yeah. thing in half. <laughs> you fucking right. And we're out of initiative order. Cheap oh. piece of tongue meat. <laughs> I, I kind of okay. wish. I kind of wish that it would have swung the sword because I can bonus action summon it right back to my hands. No, I was afraid that you were going to fucking, like, kill Rosalind. Oh, that too. <laughs> well, your nat one means you swing at this thing and it just moves out of the way a little bit and your sword goes right into Rosalind's chest right after he cast Mage Armor and he it's dies. Not, on God, it would have been like, is this what Kralin feels like? <laughs> <laughs> Okay, Voltaire runs in and he, he looks really pumped to like kill something like ah uh, yeah come on <laughs> uh, we're really just getting rid of all of Voltaire's stress relief right now he's like I just want to kill something remember when Voltaire used to be the only marshal yeah yeah and and now now even Akarath can fucking uh, he could marshal up and I hate to say it but Icky's on coke <laughs> Man gonna just immediately be like, Rosalind, are you okay? And Rosalind's like, yeah, and then he just fucking takes off to go find whatever else we were fighting. <laughs> and he all can right. make it He shit. can make it all the way to fucking here without using his action or his bonus action. <laughs> if you're gonna throw a perception. <laughs> I, can I roll it a disadvantage because I'm sprinting on Coke? Oh, if you're sprinting on Coke, you don't even just it's, it's What's your armor class? I can see. Well, it's no, 18. wait, you guys. Oh, no, it's it's uh, 20. It's 20 because I have Coke on right now. Okay, but unfortunately. Unfortunately, Icarath, it's the Nicarath moment with the skull dice. Why do you still roll those fuckers? Because nobody's because going to jail. Us. Yeah. Alright, yeah, that's fair. Fair. Um, so, 20 th 20s do 20 things. They gonna try. Wait, it's critting on me? Yeah. <laughs> no, it's not. 
<laughs> I am so, so glad does it go again? that it was Icarat <laughs> I love this. Okay, so an 18. That doesn't happen cards do you have? No, 18 does not hit. So this thing. So it goes, and it's it's like it's like those scenes in the movies where like y you know the character imagines something happening and exactly how they play out. Except it's Icarath getting like impaled right through the fucking right between the middle of his eyes, you know. And then it just kind of goes whoop, and Icarath instead just sprints around and it, it shoots at his head. And he just kind of like perfectly out of the way. And then everybody roll initiative again. Ah, awesome. And I'm all the way back over there. Yes, yes, you are. <laughs> like, I was afraid this was gonna happen. It was, it was too good a chance to fucking pass out. Also, pass all out. these things have been are like all these things had their placements already predetermined. So you're running into things that already were placed. Well, we were chasing this thing and then we <laughs> stopped chasing it. I assumed it was coming back. <laughs> so everybody in? Yeah. Yeah. No yeah, question. <clears throat> All right, and this thing gets another attack. Pog. First with its tongue. Twenty-three. I don't actually want him to do that. Twenty-three. <laughs> <Hold> <laughs> uh, no, 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 no! It's, I just don't want him to fucking attack at all. I want to reroll my initiative. So that should be a twenty-eight. I believe I go first. Yes, you do. Craft goes, hold on, hold on, cocaine! That's what everybody fucking hears. <laughs> and, then, and then he is going to cast Booming Blade on this bitch. And he's going to make an attack like so. You hit. Uh, roll the damage. And this thing is encased in thunder, so if he moves to come fucking chase me, uh, that's too bad. Um... Which is part of my strategy because I'm now going to use my extra thingy from haste to fucking flee. Does he get the attack of opportunity? <laughs> uh, he does. Skull dice. <laughs> he booming blades you back. 22. No, 21. 21. 21. I already used my uh, reaction, so yeah, that hits. Okay. Twenty-two damage, as it Barely cuts across you with its tongue across it. your back, Thank ripping you for through the temp your clothes. HP. Yep. You're welcome. Yeah. So let me know when he moves on his turn, though, because as soon as he does, he takes damage. Yeah, he's gonna try and follow you. How much damage? There will be another crash of thunder, and he'll take another nine thunder damage. Okay, he's still able to move, though, right? Um, I believe so. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I would hope. I would. I would fucking hope so. Yeah, yeah, no. This thing crawls up yeah. the wall, up onto the ceiling, and then chases you from the ceiling, leaping down from the ceiling. One second, let me let me make this check. So these fuckers are pretty fast too. Oh yeah, these are these are crazy fast motherfuckers across the ceiling. They look like you know those lizards that like wa run across the water. <laughs> oh. Think like that moving like that fast across Dude, the ceiling. The ceilings in here. Like a little salamander. Oh, God. I'm Dude, I'll bet the ceiling in here is even grosser than the fucking floor. <laughs> <laughs> and it does make its dexterity check. And then it attacks, and let's see if it hits you. 27. No, that one misses because that's my lucky number. Well, you could have had crazy <laughs> Conergy bullshit to do. Um, I do, but I'm running out of the spell slot. <laughs> Wait, hold on. I'm not running out of these ones. Make sure you save one for Tiny Hut. That's Ritual Cast. I don't fucking need one. Oh. Uh, no, so that would help someone else, but not me. Um. Wait, hold on. I always have to ask because you got crazy yes! bullshit. I do have some timey wimey bullshit. And he goes, no! And he gets to fucking move another goddamn 30 feet all the way back to where he started from in one goddamn turn next to haste. Oh my god. 
Ah, uh, <laughs> like legitimately like on like the drugs where he just slows down time on his own. Timey wimey shit, motherfucker. <laughs> And I'm picturing, I'm picturing like as Ikrath comes around the corner, he fucking like does a slide under. Oh no, he fucking, lunges at uh, him, hits the ground, and then skitters across the ground back up onto the ceiling and reaches about here. <laughs> I'd like to picture this as Voltier kind of was like braced for combat, and Coke Icky came fucking around the corner and did like a baseball style slide underneath his legs and comes oh, up yeah. standing on the other side with this thing <laughs> chasing <laughs> hot on your heels. Just... <laughs> Everyone's just like, what in the goddamn fuck? Because that entire fuck, the entirety of right there took less than 12 seconds. Yes. <laughs> and it's Thalrag's turn. As you just saw, Ikarath brought home a pet. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Miss Luffy all over again, except this time actually dangerous. <laughs> uh... Yeah, as you've seen, these yeah. things are really built to hit hard. And they're just built better. Yeah, they don't have a lot of HP. We just have a fucking... We, we keep sucking on when we attack them. Which is why I tried to draw him back here and put us with a hopefully a little bit of better footing on it this time. Alright. Yep. Thorax walking up to it. Because he doesn't care. Rosalind still hasn't had a chance to get off the fucking ground. <laughs> I'm laying there <laughs> contemplating my existence. <laughs> I wonder what emo song I'm listening to. <laughs> my, like the Black Parade, maybe? <laughs> when I was my a young the ground ground. My... I blew up an entire city oh, well, okay, and killed on. civilians all. Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. <laughs> no, that's not what I wanted to do either, I buddy. killed Kenji's wife Anywho. in front of him. <laughs> <laughs> and traumatize okay. myself. Yeah, Searing Smite 15, you miss. No, 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 that's, that's, that's not... Searing Smite, when I when hit with a weapon, I have to play with the weapon first. What the fuck did it say 15 then? I'm so confused. I don't know why it rolled either. I don't know either. Why you got broke his that... Someone please click that, by the way. <laughs> so, hold on, let me swing with the weapon here. Yes. You hit? 23 hits. Alright, uh, four for- wow, it rolled a one for the damage. Well, actually, uh, I'm gonna oh, wait, say no. you need to roll it- Oh, this, this is two-handed, wait. Oh, this is two- I forgot to say I'm doing this two-handed, so that's six. How far is your reach? How tall are you? Five feet? Could you reach is something a... like eight feet up in the air? Yes. Okay. So as long as, like- as It's on the eight ceiling. Feet. Eight feet in the air. Wait, how? Because it can stick to the ceiling. Yeah, I can still hit it though. If it's I, how I, tall is it? It's like what? It's, it's only like the, the, it's only like a foot and a half off of the ceiling. Still hit it. I don't I know how long your it. arms are. It and your hammer. It. Meta, I'm five. I'm five two in height. My arms would go like maybe at least another. Okay, I'm making foot. sure you're a short person. <laughs> he's five two. In he's making height, a jumping he's attack. He's he's, he's, he's jumping he's, at him. He's, 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 he's the hammer. Okay. He can swing it over, if and if he fucking hits, it, it, there we go. Five feet my height, so <laughs> Look, he may be five feet in reality, but he's six foot in his heart. We'll get him a step Excuse stool. me, I was six, six in real life. We'll get him a six step foot stool. Six? Oh yeah, I'm a giant boy. What are they oh, feeding man. you, other children? So you do <laughs> ten damage to it. As it no, screams. Do you want me to re-roll the searing spike? Because I don't know why it weirdly. Because the searing spike adds on top of that. I think it did two damage. Okay, so yeah, we can leave it like that then. Yeah, 33 total. Well, whatever. It did 13 damage. 12 damage. Okay. It's Lognar's turn. Alright. Lognar is going to walk up to Thalrath. Right between. Oh, hey, Meta. You have to make that thing roll a, um... Constitution saving throw, by the way. Can I do an armored defense? 22. Oh, yeah, okay. if you're not wearing that's... armor and if you have a shield, you can do it anytime. Yeah, um, that's, a, that's, a, that's an armored defense, is a passive. Yeah, it's like just how you always have 
12 plus your dex or con, I think, is what Wait, you know how we keep shitting on Rosalind for not wearing armor? It's 12. Well, you no, but Logna, you, you can't actually armor. get in there because Thalrex is in the way. So I'll have to get ahead of him? But you can't well, because it won't oh. let you pass. Yeah. Right, right, right. Thalrex well, would have had to have retreated well, and taken an attack of opportunity. No, technically, Lognar could get on the other, like, go right Hold past on. me Hold without on. leaving its um, attack range and not provoke an attack of opportunity. So oh, wait, it could go it under it, yeah. It. You could, so you could say, crouch. You could go under it. Yeah, you could crouch Lognar through, that's right. could go under it and not take an attack of opportunity and then attack it. Yeah, I'll give you that. That's fine. Then you have advantage on your attack. You, you do. Yeah, yep, yeah, it's flanking, so they have advantage. That's a good point. Just and meta, the reason why I had you roll the constitution is he is if you're on fire. Did not, so it's fine. No fire damage for it. So, Lognar. Yes. This thing is clinging to the ceiling. What do you do? All right. Um. Hmm. Can I attack him? Yeah. On yep. the ceiling. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Let's yep. do that. Okay. With the great axe. Yep. You hit. For 16 Ooh, nice. damage, which again is enough to kill the thing as it falls to the ground and melts into a puddle of goo. And you see what looks like a small child skeleton Ooh. with the bones worn down. Remaining. At least it's not Ron Davius. <laughs> Rosalind, you get up. I. <laughs> you know what? Rosalind... Yeah, I don't think that I'm having that big of a moment. Rosalind's <laughs> just taking like a little breather. <laughs> yeah, I, I just took a little breather, okay? I just took a little nap. I'm good. Uh, so, what are you so guys I... doing? Well, as soon as everybody's fine, uh, I think Ikrath wants to fucking. <laughs> Although, I. I realize you gotta go, uh, just because I got some stuff that's coming up for class tomorrow, so I gotta get ready for that. All right, Rob's just gonna hang back with, with the, with the vanguard. He's, he's a little scared. Ro yeah, Roslyn has literally just been handed his ass like four times today. He's like, this. I gotta stop. That last one was it, or the the not the last one, the second to last one wasn't even your fault because you were just the last guy to get ambushed. You know, you're the last guy yeah. in the row. Yeah. That was harsh. But I mean, a. At least, you know what? Maybe Roslyn's having like a Deadpool moment and he's just trying to like win over Death's affections. You know? He's like, maybe Kralin was onto something. No, no, we can, we can officially say Kralin wasn't. <laughs> yeah. Maybe... Yeah, he probably wasn't. No, I mean, no, pretty pretty he's not. That. Yeah, oh, did you hear? Did you hear Goji? <laughs> What? Uh, Voltaire's song about Kralin is the official anthem of the uh, the Rosebushes gang in uh, Emir. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Also, they they're like really dark. I didn't realize that. There's there's some I more like stuff going place. on. They they <laughs> than just being Kralinites. I mean, yeah. Feeding children to monsters is kind of... Wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, okay, what? I'll, I'll, see you all later. I'll see you later. See you later. <laughs> oh, God. Wait, what? <laughs> Rex is going to cast Shield of Faith on himself. Yeah, that's probably a good idea. It's kind. Of, hopefully, you guys feel like it's kind of dangerous down here. So, Ikraf isn't no. straight up sprinting, but on coke when he walks at normal speed, with haste oh, cast yeah. on him, he's basically he's taking tons of tiny steps. So he's like shuffling forward at incredibly high speeds. How do I move with the arrows? 
Okay. Uh, when you click and drag, when you click and start dragging, right click with the mouse, or if you're left-handed, you left click with the mouse, and it right. will start showing the arrow. Uh, that's the only thing I was missing. All right, thank you. Oops. Oh no, they're in the void. Uh oh. Can I move back? No, no. I'm just what? like, just, like drag over the like the big select meow. area. There you go. Meow. Yeah. If you're out there, are you running ahead? He is sprinting ahead every couple of seconds, and then haste. eventually haste. When he hits right here, we're gonna say fucking haste wears yeah. out because it only lasts a minute, and he fucking spends the next eight seconds like snoring against the wall. And when Rex walks up, he's like, "Are you okay?" And it grabs immediately. Like, I'm okay. fine. Roll a constitution save. There's no constitution it's saves involved with well. casting haste. No. Unless I'm doing it wrong. Here, uh, like, click and drag your character, holding last mouse button. Also, it won't fucking load my fucking page again. Jesus, there we go. You have to keep the left yeah, mouse think, button think, held yeah, the whole think, time. You're fine, you're as far, nothing happens as far as you know. It was like as you pointing, click and move it. pointing towards the... Rex, the roll a con there. save. Con save? Yeah. Continue along your way. Did I feel anything? No. Yeah, I was, I was gonna say, did anything happen to me? Because I missed what, what was no. being said. No. Nothing happened to you well, with that roll. Do I see anything? No. Oh, this you no, just this... see a passageway. Let me let me reveal some stuff. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. Is that just ambiance, or did something trigger that? No, no, that's a triggerable. Immediately, Ikrath turns around and Voltaire standing right there, and he's like, Did you just pass wind? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> you know, I'm having a hard time that no matter the self take control and just choke you to the other of. Well, if I fucking pass wind like that, I guess it'd be fair to say I also have trouble controlling myself. Yeesh. <laughs> 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 and you make it around the corner and you start hearing a wild tornado sound just because I haven't fucking actually fucking hit anything yet Ikrath cast one of his stupid bullshit cantrips cause I have a Rex. bad feeling about this yeah Rex is gonna prepare uh, to cast firebolt Voltaire ready so you small. roll up and this is where we're going to end for the day because I need to go. But you roll up and you see this in the center of the room. Oh, oh great, another one. And when we return... What do you mean another in two, one? And when and we technically, when we return, Rex is casting Remember? Firebolt right there. Yeah, when we return yeah. in two weeks, we will roll initiative and cast Firebolt. And we will have a great many things to do. Thank you, everyone, Hell for watching. Fucking, yeah. Thank you, everyone, for playing. Have a great evening.